Chapter 3701 Swindling 50 Million The seller almost fell when he heard Long Chen's words. How was that thing worth 50 million? He had been in this profession for over 300 years, and had yet to make that much in total. It could be said that Long Chen's 35,000 Immortal King crystals were already a huge profit to him. Can you give me a cheaper price? You won't haggle even a bit. Don't you know how to do business? Urged Long Chen impatiently when he saw the seller just staring at him blankly. Uh, no, I can't go any cheaper. Let me put it to you this way. This was passed down from my grandfather's grandfather's grandfather. Don't look down on it just because it's small. It has third-generation GLI characters on top of it. That's a seal, and no one knows what's within the seal. Generations of my ancestors were incapable of opening it. As for my own father, he... He tried to forcibly open it, only for the slightest bit of black light to fly out from it, instantly turning him to dust. I was only six at that time, and I personally witnessed his death. I... That person began to sob and weep. Long Chen was surprised by his acting skills, so he hastily pressed on. When your father died, did a flower mark appear? Did the flower have six petals with the mark of a fiend on every petal? How, how did you know? exclaimed that person in shock. That acting was such that even Long Chen almost fell for it. Did you see anything else? asked Long Chen. The six ghost heads opened their mouths and devoured the black mist that my father turned into. They then returned into the coffin. Yes, they all came from this mark right here that looks like a tortoise. I saw it clearly. It was this mark. But even after all my years of study, I was unable to break it. I hate it, but I am also fascinated by it. I want to know what it hides. But I know that I'll never be able to open it in this lifetime. If someone is willing to pay the right price, I'll sell but not one bit lower. So I won't go any lower than my price of, that I just set. The seller was so nervous that he actually forgot the number that Long Chen had just said. Was it fifty million or five million? Fortunately, his adaptability wasn't bad. What was your father's cultivation base? Asked Long Chen. My father was a world king o Long Chen glared. Uh, a world king's no good? That person looked at Long Chen questioningly. Long Chen almost slapped him. Did this person not just expose him? Long Chen wanted him to raise his father's cultivation base a bit. What are you talking about? I was asking about your dad. Your dad's cultivation base. Oh, my dad's cultivation base? I thought that you were talking about his status. Yes. He was the King Zhu Prefecture's World King Guild's master. His cultivation base had reached the half-step Divine Venerate realm before he died. He was just a half-step away from a Divine Venerate, and yet... Yet, he died too early. After that, our family declined, and I became homeless, simply wandering the world, trying to survive. Dad, Dad, your child is unfilial. Dad, your spirit is in heaven. Watch over me as I rebuild our family. The seller sobbed painfully. Now, Long Chen was doubting this person's acting skills. Wasn't this too exaggerated? Only a fool would believe it. However, the act had been played to this point, so he could only thicken his face. Long Chen then took out a spatial ring. Fine, don't cry. I'll take this broken coffin of yours. But you have to let me pick out another two items. Dill, dill. The seller happily received Long Chen's spatial ring with both hands. Long Chen bent down to pick up the coffin. Seeing that there was no reaction from the surroundings, he sighed in disappointment inside. As expected, he had wasted this effort. This idiot's acting skills were garbage. However, just as his hand was about to touch the coffin, he ended up empty-handed. Long Chen, 
furiously looked around, instantly spotting the nine underworld Luacha not far from him. She was holding the little coffin in her hand. Courting death, you dare to take my things? Put it down, or I'll make your head fall to the ground, roared Long Chen. The nine underworld Liuacha eyed the coffin and smiled coldly. You really are an idiot. The High Firmament Academy's youngest, most erudite dean. What an empty title. You don't even recognize the Grand Thousand Mark Devil Seal. This coffin would be wasted in your hands. It can only reveal its worth in my hands. It's mine. The Nine Underworld Luacha waved her hand, sending a spatial ring to that person. When he picked it up and saw fifty million immortal king crystals, he felt his heart stop beating. Long Chen had given him an empty spatial ring, but the Nine Underworld Liuacha actually gave him the full amount. In other words, they had succeeded. They really had succeeded just like that. However, he began to tremble and looked at Long Chen in terror. Your Long Chen? The High Firmament Academy's youngest dean? The one who plundered the Soaring Dragon Company? That's my side business. I can make some quick money that way. All right, our transaction is done. According to the agreement, hand over half. Long Chen extended his hand. That person eyed Long Chen and then the Nine Underworld Yuacha. He grew absolutely terrified. These were two monsters that could kill him with a single breath. He didn't want to get drawn into their fighting. Dean Long Chen, this little one was unable to see M.T. Tai. I won't play this game. Here you take it. Here is also the 35,000 that you gave me before. Pale as paper, he handed over two spatial rings. Money might be good, but there would be no point if he had no life. What are you talking about? I like money, but I earn it properly. I'll only take my portion. The rest is yours. Long Chen only took the twenty-five million Immortal King crystals and gave the rest back. Then, just then, the Nine Underworld Luacha realized that she had been scammed and crushed the coffin in her hand to find that there was nothing inside. Long Chen. She clenched her teeth furiously. Fifty million Immortal King crystals was nothing to her, but being played for a fool infuriated her. Seeing this scene, that person was absolutely terrified. He wanted to give the spatial ring in his hand back to her, but he also didn't dare to. He was so afraid that he wept. That's enough. With me here, she can't touch you. Leave. You have no business here, said Long Chen. The seller was overjoyed by Long Chen's promise. He then bravely took out a transportation formation and activated it, vanishing from the spot. Don't look at me. These twenty-five million immortal king crystals were earned properly by my hard work. I won't give them to you. If you want to fight, I'll accompany you, said Long Chen indifferently. The surrounding stalls that were set up hastily pulled back, giving them a large space. At this time, Yu Qingxuan gracefully walked over, appearing by Long Chen's side. Dong Fang Zichu's disciple, do you think being the Vermilion Bird Empire's princess is so great? The nigh underworld Luacha looked at Yu Qingxuan with a hint of jealousy in her eyes. She then snorted and pointed at Long Chen. Just wait. I'll take your head in the three thousand worlds. Noveloon come when the nine underworld Luacha turned and left. Long Chen was a bit surprised. Was she afraid of Yu Qingxuan? You really are evil. How can you swindle people like this? Aren't you afraid of the main High Firmament Academy's dean scolding you? Rebuked Yu Qingxuan. She had been hiding in the distance while Long Chen conducted his business with that person, so she had seen everything. This grand dean of the High Firmament Academy was actually constantly plundering and swindling people. He he, for you, I'm capable of doing even more shameless things. Let me tell you, I picked up a huge treasure. Long Chen was very pleased and took out the hairpin once more. 
Chapter 3702 Nirvanic Bead. This is the treasure that you swindled, but I can't tell that it's a treasure at all. Yu Kingshuan examined the rusty hairpin for a long moment without seeing anything special about it. This hairpin has passed through several hands. In order to get a good price, those fools made it look older than it is several times. Long Chen then took out a jade board and lightly tapped the hairpin on it. With a light sound, tiny cracks covered the hairpin. After a few wraps, the rust on top of it began to fall. However, even as the rust fell, there was no luster to be seen. It still looked very crude. Long Chen continued wrapping it, causing more cracks to appear and more rust to fall. After that, Yu Qingxuan finally saw a bird tail at the end of the hairpin. What bird do you think this is? asked Long Chen. It does look a bit like the ancient phoenix. But its head is too big and its tail is bloated. I've never seen such a bird before. Yu Qingxuan shook her head. The others were also befuddled and none of them recognized it. One person then guessed, the phoenix race has many large-headed branches. The ones with bigger heads are more intelligent. Impossible. Every branch of the phoenix race is recorded in history. None of them have this form, refuted another. Long Chen smiled and wrapped the hairpin once more. This time, another layer of rust fell. The head of the bird shrank, but its mouth didn't. It now looked even odder. That, that form, doesn't it look similar to our empire's symbol, the vermilion bird? exclaimed one of them. Don't spout nonsense. How does the vermilion bird have a mouth like that? retorted another. Maybe it's a deformity? Do you not want your life any more? Don't randomly talk about our empire's symbol. It had to be known that the vermilion bird was a sacred symbol of the vermilion bird empire. It was their faith, a holy emblem that could not be blasphemed. If that person's words were heard by the others of the vermilion bird empire, that would be a grave sin. That person hastily apologized. Yu Qingxuan eyed the bird more closely, and an expression of astonishment appeared in his eyes. This form truly is like the vermilion bird, but its mouth is odd. He he, keep watching. Long Chen once more wrapped it against the jade board. When another layer of rust fell, everyone, including Yu Qingxuan and the people of the vermilion bird empire, cried out in shock. Vermilion bird bead. When all the rust of the hairpin finally fell and the true form of the bird appeared, they were all shocked. It truly was a vermilion bird. Its long tail hung low over the hairpin, and its wings were spread ever so slightly. There was a tiny bead in its mouth. This vermilion bird bead was something formed from the vermilion bird condensing all its body's essence before it underwent nirvanic rebirth. This bead contained its life essence. If the nirvanic rebirth succeeded, it would devour this bead as the foundation for its rebirth. If the rebirth failed, this bead would become a priceless treasure. That was because the vermilion bird flame was fifth on the heavenly flame ranking. The vermilion bird flame and the golden crow flame were the same in that they should have been considered beast flames, but due to their progression over time, they evolved. At the highest level of the vermilion bird flame, it was called the nirvanic rebirth flame. As for the golden crow flame, at its highest level it was called the sun flame. However, the nirvanic rebirth flame's ranking was even higher than the sun flame. The vermilion bird flame had to go through nine heavenly calamities, with every calamity being considered a nirvanic rebirth. Only after nine nirvanic rebirths would it be the true nirvanic rebirth flame. The vermilion bird empire viewed the vermilion bird as a god and offered worship to the vermilion bird totem, so this vermilion bird bead model was practically burned into their souls. Previously, they had only viewed paintings of it. Hence, as this vermilion bird was depicted in a hairpin and was three-dimensional, they didn't immediately recognize it. But now that they did, 
they couldn't help being shocked. There were all kinds of hairpins depicting some kind of divine bird holding a bead in its mouth, but they had never seen someone dare to do such a thing with the vermilion bird. Legend was that the phoenix race was a descendant of the vermilion bird and inherited a portion of the vermilion bird's bloodline. There were all kinds of phoenix decorations spread throughout the nine heavens and ten lands. But when it came to the original ancestor, the vermilion bird, no one dared to use it as a decoration, nor did they dare to put the images on their clothes or ornaments. It was said that the vermilion bird was a spirit beast of heaven and earth, close to the heavenly dows and blessed with immense good fortune. Those close to it would also benefit from its fortune. To blaspheme such a symbol would be inviting calamity. Thus, cultivators would never adorn themselves with images of the vermilion bird. That could very well be a mistake that cost them their lives. Even in the vermilion bird empire, the imperial family didn't wear ornaments of the vermilion bird. Even their status plates only had the name of the vermilion bird carved onto them in GLI characters. It could be said that using the vermilion bird as a design was taboo. Thus, everyone was shocked by this hairpin. The bead ate its mouth. Yu Qingxuan looked more closely at the small bead that was only the size of a grain of rice. An expression of disbelief appeared in her eyes. It should be the nirvanic bead. Regretfully, too much time has passed. It was also damaged by the Yin Kai from underground, and its power was almost exhausted. But since the flame seed has not gone out, Qingxuan, try to nourish it with your flame energy. Perhaps it can be reignited, said Long Chen. Long Chen, this nirvanic bead is too precious. You were the one who found it, so you should ignite it. Yu Qingxuan shook her head. This treasure was something that countless flame cultivators would not even dare to dream of obtaining. If she ignited it, it would be forming a master relationship with the nirvanic bead. She felt that it should belong to Long Chen. Are you joking? You want me to wear a hairpin all day? Won't others laugh at me? Hurry up and try it. If it doesn't work, I'll think of something else, said Long Chen. Yu Qingxuan laughed at Long Chen's expression. Since he was determined, she no longer stood on courtesy. A rainbow flame then appeared on the tip of her finger, and she slowly sent it into the nirvanic bead. This flame was naturally the heavenly rainbow flame. When the heavenly rainbow flame entered the nirvanic bead, many spots on it gradually faded. Those spots were the marks of the invasion of Yin Kai from underground, but the heavenly rainbow flame burned them away without harming the actual hairpin in the slightest. It actually began to grow brighter. Everyone was amazed. This hairpin's origin might really be extraordinary. It had to be known that any divine item would have difficulty resisting the invasion of Yin Kai from underground. Furthermore, once the Yin Kai did set its roots inside, it would be next to impossible to remove. Forcibly erasing it would destroy the divine item itself. But this hairpin was actually fine. Suddenly, the nirvanic bead quivered ever so slightly. Long Chen then saw a vast world within this rice-sized bead. At the heart of this world was a giant figure. It was a vermilion bird. For a moment, Yu Qingxuan and Long Chen were simply stunned, unable to believe what they were seeing. Favorite. Chapter 3703 Vermilion Bird Will This is the Vermilion Bird's Undying Will, exclaimed Yu Qingxuan. Perhaps this is considered another kind of rebirth. Long Chen also hadn't expected the vermilion bird's will to be so tough. It had been preserved after all this time. Long Chen, I really have to thank you. You're amazing. How did you find such a treasure? Yu Qingxuan looked at Long Chen gratefully. It had to be known that this was the will of the vermilion bird, and her vermilion bird empire's faith was based on the vermilion bird. The meaning behind this vermilion bird hairpin was profoundly deep. Her flame also contained a kind of faith energy, 
and this kind of faith energy was the perfect nourishment for this will of the vermilion bird perhaps the vermilion bird's will could still be reborn as a spiritual body ah ha ha it was nothing more than reaching out a single hand after roaming the world for so many years i naturally developed some sharper vision long chen laughed very pleased with this result he almost felt like he was floating when he saw yu kingshuan's worshipful expression big brother you're so shameless i was the one who found it transmitted huo linger a bit resentfully when long chen was passing by that scammer's stall huo linger told him that there was a treasure in his pile of trash only then did long chen squat down and start haggling with him Yuo Linger's spiritual perception was astonishing. She had also grown more sensitive to other flames after devouring the Yanzu flame. Without her, Long Chen would have never noticed the vermilion bird hairpin. Give Big Brother some face. In the future, Big Brother will make it up to you. Long Chen blushed and hastily consoled this little girl. He knew that she originally wanted to devour the nirvanic bead. However, the nirvanic bead was essentially used up, and that bit of energy wasn't that useful to her. To simply devour the vermilion bird flame after obtaining it would be a waste of a treasure. Only after Long Chen said this did Huo Linger stop saying anything. She then continued sleeping within the crown of the seven treasure colored glass tree. Ever since it appeared, she and Ling Linger refused to leave its branches. To use their words, sleeping within the tree, they felt like they were growing with each passing day. Their minds were growing sharper as well. Kuo Linger, help me out. Lend your flame energy to Big Brother, said Long Chen. Big Brother, now you're using my energy as a favor to others. You're evil. Kuo Linger pouted. But even though she grumbled, she still passed her energy to Long Chen who then pressed a finger on the vermilion bird hairpin. Flame energy gushed into it. Huo Linger's energy was extremely mixed. She had all kinds of energy. It wasn't like Yu Kingshuan, who only had a single pure kind of energy. At this moment, more marks appeared on the hairpin. They were actually made of tiny runes, smaller than the point of a needle. The vermilion bird within the nirvanic bead also grew livelier. This is Yu Kingshuan almost jumped when she saw those runes. Those were the ancestral runes of the vermilion bird, the vermilion bird's core runes. Every single rune represented a kind of divine ability. When Huo Linger's energy entered, the entire hairpin seemed to become a divine weapon. It was like the vermilion bird had awoken. Its divine light seemed to contain an ancient vermilion bird spreading its wings toward the heavens leaving behind a rainbow light that light was like a dream infatuating people the vermilion bird hairpin seemed to have come to life it actually began to automatically absorb the flame energy of heaven and earth seeing that this was about enough long chen retracted his hand to avoid huo linger using up too much energy the hairpin was shining brightly and drew countless people's attention. Greed then appeared in people's eyes, but they didn't dare to even form a wicked thought. The vermilion bird empire could not be provoked. How beautiful! This divine radiance caused Yu Kingshuan to sigh in amazement. Furthermore, the vermilion bird seemed to come to life. Its divine light was beautiful and holy this hairpin is a perfect match for you it seems that it has always been waiting for you here i'll help you put it on long chen smiled and slowly inserted the hairpin into yu kingshuan's hair yu kingshuan blushed this action was a bit too intimate furthermore it was done in front of a huge crowd however she felt long chen's warmth since she was happy inside she let long chen put it on her. Yunich wise reminder had long since left her head. Beautiful. The two of you clearly match each other, praised Long Chen. 
Yu Qingxuan was already a peerless beauty, but with this hairpin and its divine light, she seemed covered in a holy halo like a heavenly fairy walking the mortal world. It gave people an urge to prostrate themselves toward her. Long Chen was excited. While it was Yu Qingxuan who obtained the treasure, Long Chen was even happier than her. That sincere smile moved Yu Qingxuan immensely. It was as though even if the rest of the world abandoned her, this man would forever be by her side. There was no way to describe that warm feeling. Princess, you, you seem to have awakened the vermilion bird divine radiance. Suddenly, a female disciple of the vermilion bird empire cried out in disbelief. With that cry, everyone looked at you, Kingshuan. If they looked closely, they could vaguely see a clump of light behind her head that contained a mysterious figure. However, it was too dim and indistinct. It kept forming and disappearing. There was no way to see it clearly. But the vermilion bird empire's people were delighted. The vermilion bird divine radiance indicated that one had received the blessing of the ancient vermilion bird's heroic spirit. A cultivator who sincerely communed with it would find it grow stronger until eventually they would be able to use it to attack. It could save their lives at a critical moment. It was said that at the peak of the vermilion bird divine radiance, it was possible to summon the vermilion bird's heroic spirit. Of course, that was just a legend. There was no such record within history. However, the vermilion bird divine radiance was so powerful that everyone within the vermilion bird empire was aware of it. Furthermore, it was also a show of status. Once a person awakened the vermilion bird divine radiance, it meant that they were chosen by the vermilion bird. Their status would be completely different. Even if it was a commoner who awakened the vermilion bird divine radiance, they would be placed on equal footing with the lords of the empire. Yu Qingxuan was also stunned. She hadn't expected this hairpin to bring her so many benefits. She felt like she was dreaming. Princess will definitely soar in the future. Remember to pull me up if I don't manage to do well for myself. Long Chen cupped his fists to Yu Qingxuan. Yu Qingxuan laughed and rebuked Long Chen with a light rap. This fellow was never serious, but she couldn't help laughing around him. She liked his voice. Around him, she never even thought about maintaining some decorum. Fortunately, Yuna Chui wasn't present, or she would have to listen to his nagging again. King Shuen, let's go. I want to introduce you to my two brothers. Long Chen brought them all toward where Guo Ran and Xia Chen were. Chapter 3704 Earth Evasion Talisman How much for this bracelet? One of the female disciples, by Yu King Shuen's side, suddenly picked up a bracelet on a stall. You're really interested? Then I'll give you the real price. Five thousand immortal king crystals. No haggling. The seller eyed her for a moment before giving a firm price. After a while, the bracelet entered Long Chen's hand and he gave it to her. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you're so amazing. You actually got it for fifteen hundred. You saved me thirty-five hundred immortal king crystals. That's half a year's earning for me, thanked the woman excitedly. Originally, seeing how firm the seller was, she had thought that this was already the lowest price. She had been attracted to how beautiful the bracelet was, and since it was a top-grade king item, she really had been about to buy it for five thousand immortal king crystals. However, Long Chen immediately noticed that the seller was taking advantage of her lack of experience, so he helped her haggle. In the end, he got it for fifteen hundred. Everyone was stunned. His way of haggling was amazingly efficient. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, can you teach us how to haggle like you? Asked another female disciple worshipfully. They also wanted to buy some things, but this was their first time outside their empire. They didn't know how to haggle. After seeing how amazing Long Chen was, they wanted to learn as well. Yu Qingxuan smiled. 
Long Chen had won over these disciples so quickly. Although Long Chen was surrounded by countless halos of light, it seemed that he didn't care about those statuses. He was never arrogant. Just this one point made their characters very similar. Seeing so many disciples looking at Long Chen excitedly, not treating him like an outsider at all, it only proved his charisma. Long Chen coughed and put on the air of an extremely experienced bargainer. Actually, there are many elements to haggling. When it comes to weighing the other side's words and expressions to deduce the real price, it would be too difficult to learn without a certain amount of effort. But that's all right. I have a very quick method to teach you. Although it won't make you haggling experts, at least you won't be slaughtered by scammers. Senior apprentice brother, tell us. We want to know. Everyone cried out excitedly. Long Chen solemnly said, in truth, the most important thing in haggling is to not care about face. If they dare to ask for five thousand, I dare to ask for five hundred. When I offer a price of five hundred, they curse me. But cursing me is fine. It's a good thing. What is there to be afraid of? The only thing to be afraid of is them suddenly saying deal. Then that means that I got scammed. Why didn't I only offer fifty? Long Chen gestured as he spoke, even putting on two different personas. Everyone then laughed, feeling like he was a comedian. However, this explanation was also easy for them to understand. There was no lower limit when haggling. As long as they were shameless, they wouldn't lose out. As a result, these disciples began to look at Yu Qingxuan urgently. She helplessly sighed, feel free to do as you please. But take care of yourselves. Don't run too far and make sure to take out your tablets. If anything happens, immediately send out a signal. Many thanks, princess. Everyone was delighted and ran off. Hey, don't go too crazy. If Yunochwai suddenly returns and sees that I let you all off, we'll all be scolded, warned Yu Qingxuan. Don't worry, princess, we'll be back quickly. We won't make things hard on you. One of the female disciples giggled and then dispersed through the stalls with everyone else. Yu Qingxuan looked at those people that were like horses that had thrown off their reins, and she shook her head. Looking at the smiling Long Chen, she couldn't help saying, It's all your fault. I bet that they'll end up squandering all the money that they have. These disciples were used to following the rules in the Vermilion Bird Empire. Now that they were free, seeing all the new things around them, they would definitely buy quite a few things. The main worry was that they would use up all their money without buying anything useful. Long Chen smiled. Who can say when it comes to luck? Who dares to say that they won't find some useful treasure? Furthermore, if a person doesn't lose a little in life, would that still be called life? An expert always has to pay a tuition fee to become an expert. Suffering and losing is the tuition fee. Well, I can't beat you in an argument. Yu Qingxuan helplessly smiled. Long Chen sometimes said things that were clearly fallacious, yet she found herself unable to retort. When the two of them arrived where Guo Ran and Xia Chen were, they found that the two of them had almost sold off everything. Of thousands of talismans, only a few dozen remained. As for Guo Ran's wares, not one remained. Greetings, Miss Kingxuan. When they arrived, Guo Ran and Xia Chen hastily rose and bowed to Yu Kingxuan. Long Chen had already told them not to mention what had happened on the Martial Heaven continent and to act like it was their first time meeting. Yu Kingxuan returned their greeting. Long Chen then said, Let me introduce you. This is Guo Ran, a prodigy forging master, and this is Xia Chen, a truly talented talisman master. Both of them are my life and death brothers. After a few polite words from both sides, Guo Ran said, Boss, can you help us look after our stall? We want to look around. 
You want me to look after this? Long Chen almost didn't dare to believe his ears. Yes, we've already sold our things. Zaya Chen and I made quite a bit of money and are going to look for things that we need. We'll also be looking to see if we can take advantage of people's inventories to buy low and sell high. Gua Ran shrugged. There was no way around it. Both of them had good things in their hands, and any professional could tell. Although the price was a bit high, those were life-saving treasures, so they were quickly snatched up. As this was their first time doing such business, they hadn't expected their business to be so prosperous. Now they wanted to spend their new wealth. Long Chen helplessly sent them off, looking after their stall. Both of them then ran off happily, vanishing without a trace. Long Chen, why do I feel a bit odd when those two brothers of yours looked at me? Yu Qingxuan couldn't help asking when it was just the two of them alone. Of course, it was odd. Seeing that Yu Qingxuan didn't recognize them, Zaya Chen and Gyua Ran both felt strange. Afraid of exposing themselves, they then slipped away. They don't have much experience. They've never seen such beauty, so they didn't dare to look at you, said Long Chen with a smile. Yu Qingxuan rolled her eyes, knowing that this was nonsense. But she didn't pursue the topic. How much for this earth evasion talisman? Suddenly, a girl walked over and pointed at a talisman. A thousand immortal king crystals, said Long Chen. In truth, the earth evasion talisman normally sold for around 700 on the marketplace. But prices were definitely a bit higher here. 500, said the girl. Damn, what a ruthless haddler. Long Chen couldn't help laughing. This girl was just randomly putting out a price. She had no idea of the market price of this talisman. Seeing her bargain, Yu Qingxuan smiled. Your way of haggling is even more ruthless. It's not bad for her to not ask for a hundred. My mom said that she wanted it for half price, said the girl uneasily. It seemed that she really didn't have any experience. Is that so? All right, let's start over. Ask me again, said Long Chen. The girl obediently pointed at the talisman and asked, How much for this earth evasion talisman? Two thousand. Go ahead and haggle, urged Long Chen. The girl was dumbfounded. Then, one thousand? Dale. Long Chen handed the girl the earth evasion talisman. Chapter 3705 Yu Qingxuan's History This girl had an odd expression. She felt like something was off, but she couldn't say anything. Seeing Long Chen handing over the talisman, she then handed a thousand immortal king crystals to Long Chen. Yu Qingxuan was smiling behind Long Chen. She knew that she couldn't laugh at this time, or it would expose Long Chen, but she really couldn't endure it any more. Long Chen took the thousand immortal king crystals. But just as the girl was about to leave, Long Chen called out to her and offered her another talisman from the stall. We're having a special offer right now. Buy one, get one free. For buying the earth evasion talisman, you get a body substitute talisman. Congratulations. Wow, is my luck that good? Thank you. The girl was incredibly excited. She thanked Long Chen and received the talisman before going. You're losing out. Such a fine body substitute talisman, it probably would go for no less than 5,000 immortal king crystals, said Yu Qingxuan with a smile. She had some knowledge of talismans. Once the girl was gone, Long Chen shook his head. There's no way around it. There are always some people in this world that are so foolish that I feel sorry for them. Long Chen didn't view himself as a good person, but when it came to such an innocent fool, he felt bad taking her money. Fortunately, he didn't encounter such nice fools every day, or he'd be broke. Why are you looking at me like that? Long Chen suddenly found that Yu Qingxuan was staring at him oddly. You really are a good person. A very good person, said Yu Qingxuan softly. 
He he, I like hearing that, especially from you. Why don't you say it a few more times? Laughed Long Chen. Yu Kingshuan also laughed, her eyes not leaving his. Why would a kind person like you become a devil for me? Long Chen knew that the devil she was referring to was him when his heart devil erupted last time outside the heavenly flame world. Long Chen shook his head. I don't know, but I will not permit anyone to hurt you. Whether I have to be a good person or a devil, as long as I can protect you, I don't mind. Yu Qingxuan suddenly smiled, revealing her perfect teeth. Long Chen, do you know? I just recently learned that I have a father. I thought that my parents died a long time ago, and my master raised me on their behalf. But it was only after the matter of the heavenly flame world ended that my master told me my origins. He then brought me to see my father. Turns out that I am the princess of the Vermilion Bird Empire. Only a select few people within the entire Vermilion Bird Empire knew of my existence. But I don't know why they would send me away immediately after birthing me. My master raised me, and I'm very grateful for him. But for some reason, I don't feel that close warmth from him. My master is a sect leader, while my father is the monarch of an empire. Both of them have high and mighty airs. I am respectful toward them, but that also makes me want to distance myself from them. Likewise, I'm always nice to people, but I don't have a single true friend. They respect me, they worship me, they get close to me, they want to hear me discuss the Tao, they want to obtain my medicinal pills, but they aren't really my friends. Only with you do I feel completely unconstrained. Do you know? In this world, you are my only friend. Long Chen looked at the tender gaze from Yu Qingxuan's eyes. That gaze moved the weakest part of Long Chen's heart. On the martial heaven continent, when he held her as she died, her gaze was almost identical. Without realizing it, Long Chen's tears slowly flowed down. She was her, there was no mistake. Although the timing was off with her reincarnation, he was sure that the two were the same. The person who had loved him for a thousand lifetimes, the person who had used her own life to try to awaken him, he finally found her. Before this, Long Chen had told himself that she was Yu Qingxuan and that Yu Qingxuan was her. But even then, he still had doubts. It was only today when he saw this gaze that his heart was fully sure. I finally found you. You, you're crying? Yu Qingxuan was flustered. She took out a handkerchief and dabbed at Long Chen's tears. I, I happy to be your only friend. I'm really happy, said Long Chen. He still didn't want to tell Yu Qingxuan about their past. He owed Yu Qingxuan far too much, so he didn't want her to be burdened by their past. He would use his own power to make her fall in love with him again. He wouldn't use the shackles of the past. Wipe away your tears. Otherwise, if others see, they'll think that I'm bullying you. The great high firmament academy's youngest dean is actually a crybaby. Yu Qingxuan smiled, and even though she told Long Chen to wipe away his tears, she was the one doing it for him. Long Chen also smiled. I normally only shed blood against enemies. But against the people closest to me, I end up shedding tears. In front of you, I don't need to put up any pretenses. Hey, little fellow, how much for this? Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan were in the midst of talking when a large man swaggered over and pointed at a talisman. Scram! The intimate atmosphere was shattered. For this man to be so blind, Long Chen directly shouted at him. The large man was enraged, but the moment he locked eyes with Long Chen, his hair stood on end. He was so terrified that he didn't even dare to make a sound. You're so fierce. How are you going to sell things like this? Laughed you, Qingxuan. I'm not a seller anyway. Looting others is my main profession. That irritating fellow. I can't be bothered about his money, explained Long Chen. In truth, Long Chen wasn't lacking money at all. 
he only wanted to accompany you kingshuan little brother how much do you want for this talisman a young maiden with a ponytail came over her eyes brightening upon seeing one particular talisman Kate it it's free long chan waved his hand at first she thought that he was just joking it was only when long chen put the talisman in her hand and shooed her off that she understood that it was not a joke what do you think that she's pretty so you gave it to her for free laughed you king shuen she's from the spirit race i don't know what exact branch but i really like the spirit race's people the spirit race has helped me while i was in crisis many times so how could i accept her money long chen looked around stealthily after saying that before whispering well the main thing is that i'm not the one who made the talismans so giving them away for free doesn't hurt me at all long chen's wink made yu king shuen laugh suddenly the tablet on her waist flashed and her expression instantly changed not good our people have run into trouble favorite chapter marked as read chapter three thousand seven hundred six heavenly ruler seal empire long chen decided to just put away the rest of the wares and go with yu king shuen he wanted to call over yu ran and xia chen but he had no idea where they had run off to pushing through the crowd long chen quickly saw several female disciples of the vermilion bird empire surrounded by a group of people it's the heavenly ruler seal empire's people yu king shuen's expression changed slightly what kind of people are they asked long chen an empire that's not very powerful and while our relationship with them isn't good we don't have much enmity however for some reason they've started targeting us in the last few years i just returned to the vermilion bird empire so i'm not too clear on many of the empire's matters i can recognize what empire they are from due to their robes and tablets said yu king shuen then what do you want to do do you want to fight asked long chen i don't know i have never dealt with something like this sorry it would be better if yuna chui was here said yu king shuen yuna chui wasn't completely useless i don't mind how you deal with it but as long as anyone dares to be the slightest bit rude to you i won't be courteous either said long chen saying the ugly words first to avoid being blamed when a fight occurred long chen would only have one way to deal with such a matter and that was to fight fight until the other side was searching the ground for their teeth fight until the other side was on the ground begging for mercy aha the girls of the vermilion bird empire are up to par what are you not going to give us any face after inviting you to some wine a fair-faced man with a folded fan in his hand and a crown on his head smiled at the disciples that they had surrounded his gaze was completely lecherous he wore extravagant robes and had a golden tablet on his waist it seemed that his status was extraordinary he had dozens of experts by his side all of them peak divine lords with powerful auras having surrounded a few female disciples of the vermilion bird empire these perverts were examining them in a completely unrestrained fashion their gazes were extremely provoking because of the commotion quite a few people had come to see what was happening as for others they put away their wares and hid in the distance the people from these empires couldn't be provoked with this kind of morality how will you represent the heavenly ruler seal empire for you to be so overbearing are you not placing our vermilion bird empire in your eyes one of the women from the vermilion bird empire coldly replied long chen and yu kingshuan had arrived and spotted them in the distance the speaking woman was yin ting she was also the one to ask him to teach them how to haggle yin ting was naturally lively and her eloquence wasn't bad she instantly accused these people of provoking the vermilion bird empire no no the heavenly ruler seal empire has a good relationship with the vermilion bird empire with such a close relationship 
why would we not place the vermilion bird empire in our eyes since our empires are so friendly we should forge a stronger bond don't you think we can drink and talk don't you think that's suitable the crowned man laughed the very picture of a hedonistic young master although he said that the relationship between both empires was good his eyes were full of disdain for them he had clearly come to cause trouble yin ting sneered drinking wine naturally doesn't count for anything however people should know themselves are you not aware that your appearance is such that not even your grandmother would kiss you i'm disgusted just looking at you if we were to drink wine i wouldn't even have time to spit it out before vomiting if you don't want trouble then get away from us our princess is right nearby your princess that wild princess of unclear origins what a joke even if she personally came i wouldn't place her in my eyes sneered the crowned man disdainfully impudent so what what can you do are you going to personally try to kill me asked the crowned man as if taunting her the other experts of the heavenly ruler seal empire also laughed and tightened their enclosure they didn't take out weapons nor did they leak any killing intent but they were intentionally getting closer to the girls leaving them nowhere to escape if they didn't attack ying ting and the other girls also couldn't attack if they did it would become a diplomatic issue between both empires and they were unable to take responsibility for such a matter despite that as they were women having these men get so close to them was naturally making them uncomfortable yin ting was enraged she had the urge to slaughter all of them but she didn't dare to she was simply waiting for yu kingshun to arrive killing you would be up to my mood but if you ask for a beating so badly we'll see if i settle for just a beating just then an arrogant and domineering voice rang out hearing this yin ting and the others were delighted they instantly recognized long chen's voice as expected just as they heard him long chen and yu king chuan walked in shoulder to shoulder oh is this the princess that the vermilion bird empire suddenly produced i heard that no one knows where you came from it caused quite the ruckus in the vermilion bird empire the crowned man's eyes brightened when he saw yu king chuan and he laughed delightedly he completely ignored long chen my vermilion bird empire doesn't want trouble but we're not afraid of trouble have your people leave otherwise demanded yu king chuan otherwise what sneered the crowned man his gaze brazenly roved around yu king chuan's body Pow! suddenly long chen's palm slapped his face unleashing an explosive sound that crowned man was directly blown apart into blood mist even his yuan spirit was blasted apart let alone his body everyone was shocked the other experts of the heavenly ruler seal empire were completely dumbfounded they couldn't believe what they were seeing long chen yu even yu king shuin jumped in shock long chen had said that if they continued to cause trouble he would give them a beating but they couldn't be killed because this matter related to the diplomatic relationship between the two empires hence no rash moves could be made however long chen had directly slain their leader stunning yu king shuin sorry it seems that i went a bit too hard long chen looked at his own hand as well as the scattered blood mist he was embarrassed in truth the moment the crowned man's gaze roved around yu king chuan's body like that long chen's fury exploded how could he possibly restrain his power like that you 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 dared to kill our young master peng ao are you trying to start a war between our empires shouted one of the heavenly ruler seal empire's people long chen waved his hand this time his hand didn't strike anything and an arrow already pierced through that person's head you dare to wave your claws in front of my boss 
Are you tired of living? Just then, Guo Ran and Xia Chen came over. Guo Ran fearlessly looked over the crowd, appearing as if he thought himself completely unrivaled. Chapter 3707 Heavenly Ruler Seals Prince He Changchen Hu. Who are you? The Heavenly Ruler Seal Empire's experts were all bewildered and terrified. I swept through Buo Ran, cleared his throat, and began to chant his opening line. Suddenly, countless aura soared as thousands of experts surrounded this place. These people were all wearing robes of the Heavenly Ruler Seal Empire. Their leader was an expert wreathed in flames. His figure was large, and as the flames raged around him, his blood kai also burned strongly. It was as if his essence blood was a slumbering volcano that could erupt at any moment. Most shocking of all were his eyes. They actually had a flame mark burning within them. When they opened and closed, it felt like people were seeing two suns. He gave off an intense sense of pressure. This was a supreme expert. As soon as he arrived, his aura made others feel like they couldn't breathe. You dare to kill my heavenly ruler seals people. Do you know how the character for death is written? Demanded the flame supreme expert. His voice was like rolling thunder, shaking the void. At this moment, the surrounding air flickered. People could see endless flame energy circulating within this world. He was like a flame god, an existence that people didn't even dare to look at. Who cares about the heavenly ruler seal empire? In front of me, Guo ran, even tigers and dragons must kneel. You don't like it? Then I'll beat you until you submit. Guo ran was displeased because his opening act was interrupted, so he sneered at this supreme expert. Courting death, one of the people beside the supreme expert shouted angrily. He suddenly moved as quick as lightning, his spear piercing toward Yuo Ran's throat. He directly attacked just due to some words. Furthermore, his killing intent was completely unleashed. He didn't hold back in the slightest. It seemed that he really was intent on killing Yuo Ran. Seeing that, Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Without him being aware of it, his killing intent began to swell within his chest. These people were quite arrogant. Kill him, ordered Long Chen coldly. Just as he said this, that flame-wrapped spear stopped in front of Guo Ran. A hand easily caught the spear to. Seeing this, the supreme expert of the heavenly ruler seal empire twitched. It was only now that Guo Ran defended that he realized Guo Ran was also a supreme expert. Guo Ran's arm wasn't his own, so when he wasn't using the power of his supreme bone, others didn't sense his aura. In truth, Guo Ran had done this on purpose. Only like this could he disguise himself as a pig to eat the tiger. He first lulled his opponents into carelessness. Get back! shouted the supreme expert. Regretfully, Guo Ran didn't give him that chance. The power of his supreme bone erupted. With a single shove, an overwhelming power flowed through the spear, causing it to ram into that person's body. He didn't even make a grunt before exploding. An insignificant ant also dares to embarrass himself in front of me. How laughable, sneered Guo Ran. He tossed the spear casually. Just like that, the burning spear shot toward the supreme expert. Oh, that supreme expert reached out to grab the spear. As he did, the ground beneath his feet let out an explosive sound. Clearly, Guo Ran's casual toss contained the power of his supreme bone. An ordinary person would be directly blown apart if they tried to catch it. Guo Ran was testing this person with this blow. Who are you? Are you trying to become enemies with my heavenly ruler's seal empire? The flame supreme expert shouted. Clearly, he hadn't expected to stumble across a supreme expert here. It had to be known that supreme experts all had major powers behind them. He had to know what status the other side had. I am Long Chen's subordinate, 
The Dragon Blood Legion's general, Guo Ran, announced Guo Ran arrogantly, his hands clasped behind him. The Dragon Blood Legion? What nonsense are you spouting? Why haven't I heard of them? demanded someone from the Heavenly Ruler Seal Empire. It's fine that you haven't heard of us. You'll know in the future. The name of the Dragon Blood Legion will quickly spread throughout the nine heavens and ten lands. The entire world will shake due to this name, claimed Guo Ran confidently. Brett, I don't care where you're from. Tell me, do you want to get drawn into muddy water today? demanded the supreme expert. Naturally, this muddy water referred to the matter between the heavenly ruler seal empire and the vermilion bird empire. He was probing, wanting to see if Guo Ran really was part of the vermilion bird empire. Muddy water? I don't give a damn about it. I only listen to my boss. Are you deaf? Did you not hear? I already said that I am the general of Long Chen's Dragon Blood Legion. Boss Long Chen is right there. Can you not see? Sneered Kyo Ran. The lib talk wasn't his specialty. Now that he had a supreme bone, he felt like it was always better to directly fight than argue. Long Chen, the supreme expert, suddenly reacted. He looked at Yu King Shuin and Long Chen. You are Long Chen? Your guts aren't small, all right. Do you want to stick your hands into the matters of our two empires? Asked the supreme expert. Cut the crack. No need to probe me. The matters of the Vermilion Bird Empire are King Shuin's matters, and King Shuin's matters are my matters. I always do things simply. It's simply a fight to the death. As for these little ploys of yours, I already stopped playing with them when I was a little child. So, let us keep it simple. Either scram or die. You pick, said Long Chen coldly. The crown expert from before had called Yu Qingshu and a wild princess, enraging Long Chen. Then this person had attacked Yua Ran with the intent to kill. They clearly didn't care about their lives. Thus, Long Chen also didn't stand on courtesy. They were arrogant, right? Long Chen would show them what true arrogance looked like. Ah! Oh, the supreme expert suddenly raised his head and laughed. That laughter was full of killing intent. But I, He Changchun, have never heard someone say such arrogant words to me before. Good, very good. Since you want to die, I'll kill you right now. Everyone unrelated, get out of the way. I'm going to start a slaughter. He Changshan, the heavenly ruler seal empire's third prince. He's someone who awakened a supreme bloodline and possesses a heavenly flame. He spent a lifetime in combat without ever losing. So it's him. The people surrounding Yin Ting and the others retreated. Yin Ting and the others came behind Yu Qingxuan. Furthermore, other disciples of the Vermilion Bird Empire also arrived at this time, all of them with their weapons out. They were ready for a fight. La Chen. Yu Qingxu intense slightly. She wasn't afraid of battle, but she felt that since this matter related to the relationship between both empires, it could cause a calamity if it wasn't dealt with properly. Long Chen smiled and comforted her. Don't worry. This matter has nothing to do with the Vermilion Bird Empire. It is a matter between my Dragon Blood Legion and the Heavenly Ruler Seal Empire. After saying that, Long Chen turned back to He Changshan. He indifferently announced, Don't say that I didn't give you a chance. Our Dragon Blood Legion currently only has three members. Pick out any one of them. In front of all the heroes beneath the heavens right now, we will decide who is stronger and who dies. Long Chen, Yuo Ran, and Xia Chen stood together just like that. At this moment, countless people stared in disbelief at them. Chapter 3708 Too Many Wolves, Not Enough Meat, A Life, and Death Battle. Countless people were absolutely shocked. There were endless heavenly geniuses here, and that meant there were countless conflicts as well. 
Bait and small fights were a constant presence here. However, no true life and death battles had been fought because all the major powers had experts protecting them. Their disciples might scuffle, but if their lives were truly in danger, their seniors would appear. Although the heavenly geniuses all had their own tempers and were extremely conceited, none of them were willing to expose their trump cards in front of everyone. Hence, even if they encountered someone whom they had terrible enmity with, they would maintain their cool. They would settle things once they entered the three thousand worlds. Thus, despite the constant conflicts, everyone restrained themselves. If they really were unable to do so, their seniors would appear and put a stop to their battle. That way, neither side would lose face. As for something like what Long Chen was doing, directly declaring a life and death battle, it was very rare. So, everyone went quiet, staring at Long Chen in disbelief. All the people with the stalls set up around them put away their wares, and they came over to watch. Countless experts guessed whether or not they really would fight. Interesting that He Changshan is one of the seven heavenly ruler seal princes. The heavenly ruler seal empire has seven supreme princes this generation. It is an unprecedented era for them. They've grown a great deal. Before this, they were basically a subordinate, a pitiful dog wagging its tail. Now, though, the dog has a strong backer and is going to bite its master, said someone with a mocking expression. When it came to the heavenly ruler seal empire, many people actually knew some information. This empire originally wasn't powerful, and had done their best to maintain a decent relationship with the Vermilion Bird Empire. In truth, they only survived thanks to the Vermilion Bird Empire's protection. Considering that they bordered each other, the Vermilion Bird Empire had no choice but to protect them. If their enemies occupied the Heavenly Ruler Seal Empire, that would be like having a tiger outside their door at all times, and they would have difficulty ever relaxing. When it came to matters between empires, it was always profit that decided things. If two empires had a good relationship, that was simply because they were both sharing the profit. It was a matter of whether it was still mutually beneficial or not. Currently, the heavenly ruler seal empire was soaring in power. In the last few years, they had started to target the Vermilion Bird Empire, making moves that the Vermilion Bird Empire could not accept. That resulted in the relationship between both nations turning frosty. When the Heavenly Ruler Seal Empire's people surrounded the Vermilion Bird Empire's people, everyone knew what was going on. But what people were unable to understand was why the Vermilion Bird Empire, with all of its power, would simply accept this provocation without retaliation. Were the rumors true? Were there inner conflicts between the Vermilion Bird Empire's royals? As things had grown to this extent, more and more people came to watch in anticipation of a good show. But Long Chen isn't from the Vermilion Bird Empire. Does it count if he wins? asked one person curiously. You don't even know about this? Long Chen is a vicious character. In the Heavenly Flame world, he slaughtered enemies from all sides, and the majority of the life forms that entered the Heavenly Flame world were killed by him. In the end, he even slew Yan Zhu's son. The reason why he did so is because of Yu Qingxuan. At that time, no one even knew that she was the Vermilion Bird Empire's princess. Also, didn't he just say that Yu Qingxuan's matters are his matters? Let me tell you, this Long Chen is a supremely terrifying figure. There will definitely be a good show to watch today. Everyone was privately discussing things amongst themselves. Many people didn't recognize Long Chen at first, but others quickly informed them. Of course, there were also people who didn't recognize He Changshan and were asking about him as well. Long Chen's group of three stood together, gazing at He Changshan coldly. Yuo Ren stealthily stepped back half a step before being dragged forward by Zaya Chen. A person can't be too shameless. 
how much have you shown off already do you not know what boss is planning clearly you ran was trying to act like the pig to devour the tiger again he wanted he chanchen to challenge him he had greatly improved during this time and was thirsting for a powerful opponent to prove his power Zia Chen might be low-key, but he had also been the greatest genius within the heavenly talisman star field. He had his own pride. However, on the Nine Underworld Island he had suffered immensely. That was a blow to his confidence. Later on, with the help of the Seven Treasure Colored Glass Tree, he started researching ancient talismans, restarting and rebuilding his arsenal. Because of that, he had entirely new formation discs and trump cards and also wanted to test them on a peak expert. During normal times, he wouldn't fight over the spotlight with Guo Ran, but he urgently needed a battle to test his new products to show his results. Seeing Guo Ran and Xia Chen bickering over who was to fight, people were shocked. Some people mocked them thinking that they were too foolish to not know just how powerful he chanction was they seemed to be frogs at the bottom of a well as for he chanction he was still blazing with killing intent long chen's group of three clearly didn't place him in their eyes that was a huge insult to him since you all want to die fine all three of you can come at me together we won't rest until one side is annihilated he Changshin coldly pulled his robes off, revealing a set of fiery red battle armor. One of the Heavenly Ruler Seal Empire's four national treasures, the Heavenly Ruler Seal Battle Armor. Yin Ting cried out in shock. She recognized this famous world domain divine item. The Heavenly Ruler Seal Battle Armor was a scaled fire attribute set of divine armor. Every one of its scales had a flame rune carved into it. Moreover, every flame rune was made with the life flame of one flame attribute divine beast. Hence, when this armor was revealed, flames exploded out along with the roaring of ten thousand beasts. People's hearts quivered. An uproar then exploded amongst the people. He Changshan was actually challenging all three of them. Just how confident was he? When this armor appeared, Huo Linger awoke. After transforming into a small flame dragon, she stealthily wrapped herself around Long Chen's neck beneath his collar and stuck her head out. Big brother Long Chen, his armor is good. It has many runes that I don't have. I want it. Let me out and I'll devour him, transmitted Huo Linger. She had set her sights on this armor. Long Chen was speechless. Now even Huo Linger wanted to fight. But seeing Huo Ran and Xia Chen's itchy appearances, how could he fight over this chance with them? Yu Qingxuan looked at Long Chen, and a sweet smile gradually appeared on her face. As long as Long Chen was present, there was nothing in this world that she needed to worry about. It was that way when she encountered Yan Hong last time and it was the same this time. With Long Chen present, her heart was steady. As for the problem between both empires, she no longer even thought about it. She chose to fully trust Long Chen. As a result, she ended up feeling incomparably relaxed. It felt good to have someone to rely on. Long Chen, Guo Ran, and Xia Chen looked at each other. All of a sudden, they stuck out their hands, causing everyone to jump. However, when people saw what they were doing, they almost collapsed. Rock, Paper, Scissors Chapter 3709 Xia Chen vs. He Changshan Xia Chen, you little cheater. Huo Ran cried out miserably. Xia Chen had actually done rock, while Guo Ran and Long Chen had scissors. So, Xia Chen won in one round. He had agreed with Guo Ran for their moves beforehand. But he actually lied. In that situation, Xia Chen naturally won. Xia Chen instantly radiated a lively vigor after winning. His battle will soared. Although he looked like a weak scholar, once he entered his combat state, he was like a tiger coming out of its den. 
his killing intent instantly covered the world and the air around him completely changed i tsaya chen challenged e changchen to a battle today all heroes beneath the heavens will bear witness today's battle will decide who is stronger and who dies no one may interfere in our battle e changchen if you're afraid of death you can still run away at this time but once we start fighting there will be no end until one of us is dead don't say that i didn't warn you xia chen stood in the air looking at he changshan coldly even without a weapon even without battle armor just standing there he gave off the air of a powerful expert his powerful confidence in particular moved the other experts present after all long chen had some reputation but when it came to Guo Ren and Xia Chen outside of their respective star fields, their fame had yet to spread. Thus, people didn't recognize them. They hadn't even heard of their names. Xia Chen and Guo Ren didn't seem to possess any air of an expert while standing beside Long Chen. That made it easy for others to neglect their existence. It was only when Xia Chen stepped forward that his powerful aura was revealed shaking people's hearts only then did they understand that this seemingly weak man was a true expert who had killed his way out of the battlefield he changchen sneered in response to xia chen's challenge a nameless soldier is all you are you dare to challenge this prince i challenged all three of you together but you just have to send yourselves to your deaths one by one fine then today i'll show you what true power is i'll show you that the heavenly ruler seal empire can't be provoked by the likes of you as for the matters between the heavenly ruler seal empire and the vermilion bird empire they aren't things that the likes of you can stick your hands into each ancient's words were clearly for everyone to hear he was saying that the current heavenly ruler seal empire was no longer the old heavenly ruler seal empire upon hearing his statement everyone's heart shook the heavenly ruler seal empire was fully set on establishing their might could it be that they really had grown to the point of being able to challenge the vermilion bird empire perhaps the heavenly ruler seal empire's challenge to the vermilion bird empire wasn't as simple as it appeared on the surface all right since you've agreed let's not waste any more words all the heavenly geniuses present give us some face and retreat a bit i'm not afraid of wounding you but you might get splattered with some blood said xia chen the spectators laughed some of them gave him face and retreated but some extremely conceited people completely ignored him and continued to stand where they were. Long Chen brought Yu Qingxuan, Guo Ran, and the others back. Yin Ting secretly said, Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, this junior brother won't be in danger, right? That hateful, He Changshan is a supreme expert. Don't worry about it. No one from my Dragon Blood Legion is a weakling, said Guo Ran taking the initiative before long chen even said anything his eyes suddenly brightened when he looked at yin ting oh miss you're very beautiful do you have a dao companion aya have some shame long chen clapped guo ran on the back of his head angrily this fellow didn't have any propriety with his words why are you talking about seeing how much she cares about xia chen I was thinking about helping the two of them bond. What's wrong with that? exclaimed Guo Ran, feeling aggrieved. He he, I already have someone in my heart, laughed Yin Ting. All right, then you won't have that blessing. What a pity. Guo Ran shrugged helplessly. Just then, he changed and waved his hand, and a flame spear appeared in it. In an instant, the temperature of the air shot up. The intense flames caused the world to twist. Take out your weapon. Don't say that I didn't give you a chance. He Changchen pointed his spear at Xia Chen. More and more people appeared in the surroundings. Long Chen saw Jai Wuming and the nine underworld Luacha among them, 
along with many experts with supreme auras. All of them had powerful auras and gave off immense pressure. I have no weapon, nor do I need one. Go ahead and attack. I'd advise you not to waste time with probing blows or hold back your trump cards. Otherwise, your death would be very tragic, said Xia Chen indifferently, clasping his hands behind his back. These words startled countless people. They were unable to sense any supreme aura or a powerful blood kai from his body. In fact, they couldn't even sense a powerful spiritual strength. They had no idea where his confidence came from. However, that chilling killing intent and the sense of danger he gave off were real. They were unable to understand this. Then you can just die. He Changshin roared furiously. After that, his manifestation burst into appearance behind him, and endless flames erupted. There was an ancient beast within his manifestation. This beast roared, shaking the void and turning the sky red. This one roar actually summoned all the flame energy of heaven and earth out. It then rushed toward He Changshan, the heavenly ruler seal wild lion. So that's the case. A heavenly ruler seal empire's faith symbol is the heavenly ruler seal wild lion. Long Chen came to a sudden understanding. The heavenly ruler seal wild lion was a flame divine beast from ancient times. It had square feet which left footprints that were like a king's seal. Those footprints could burn for hundreds of years without extinguishing. However, despite being a flame divine beast, its own flame wasn't very powerful. This beast relied on devouring other flames to cultivate and strengthen itself. Thus, the heavenly ruler seal flame was merely ranked 63rd on the heavenly flame ranking. Its strong point was its devouring power and the power to merge other flames. Of course, when it came to devouring power, it was a far cry from being able to compare to the Yanzu flame. No matter how the heavenly ruler seal flame was strengthened, it would never be able to devour the flames in the top ten of the heavenly flame ranking. It was fated that it would never be able to squeeze into the top ten in its entire lifetime. Despite that, others would not dare to underestimate this flame. When He Changshan's manifestation appeared, his armor also blazed with light, and countless runes lit up. As every scale let out a bestial roar, violent power erupted. After that, He Changshan raised his spear and shook the flames of the world, which converged into his spear and then pierced toward Xia Chen. This spear exuded the breathtaking roars of ten thousand beasts. Chapter 3710 Talisman Cultivator's Divine Might He Changshan immediately started off with a full power attack, not holding back. The violent flame energy caused the world to change color. Even other supreme experts were moved. To be able to instantly unleash such power with no warm-up was very difficult. It had to be known that in any battle between experts, their blood kai would need a few circulations to enter a combat-ready state. Without a warm-up, instantly unleashing their full power would damage their meridians. They would end up injuring themselves without even hurting their enemies. However, he Changshan instantly entered his peak condition, and his aura was astonishing. This shocked everyone. Even so, people quickly realized that the reason why He Changshan was capable of doing this was due to his heavenly ruler seal battle armor. This battle armor helped him resist any backlash. His spear pierced out like a dragon, causing huge ripples to appear in the void. In front of this powerful attack, Xia Ten simply raised his right hand. A golden talisman then appeared in it. A night, Xia Chen's golden talisman suddenly exploded, forming a golden light that seemed to be liquid. It covered his hand, making it look like it was made out of liquid gold. Boom! In front of everyone's stunned gazes, Xia Chen's palm met the spear just like that. A huge explosion then shook the land. Xia Chen's left hand was still behind him. 
millions of tiny cracks appeared in the space behind him stretching into the distance like a web people then saw flames burst out of Zaya chen's left hand and follow those cracks the web instantly became a web of flames he shifted he changshan's flame energy everyone was shocked the full power attack from he changshan had actually been dealt with like this Zaya chen wasn't the slightest bit injured burning cracks appeared behind him like blazing divine light a talisman cultivator he's a talisman cultivator a startled cry rang out people finally recognized Zaya chen's status when he extended his hand he was holding a talisman in his left and right hand just like that he easily blocked he changchen's attack long chen smiled talisman cultivators were truly mysterious a tiny talisman actually had the power to twist the laws of heaven and earth to its advantage even now he did not understand the true profundities of this boom at this moment he changchen suddenly took advantage of their close range to smash a fist toward Zaya chen's face his reaction was very fast he was actually a close range fighting expert boom Zaya chen slammed his hands together and a talisman appeared between his hands after that he changchen's fist smashed into Zaya chen luckily a shield already manifested on top of Zaya chen's hands perfectly blocking he changchen's attack with another explosive sound both of them retreated three steps he changchen sneered you're just relying on external items let's see just how many talismans you have Zaya chen had lost three talismans just like that these talismans were all single uses after they were used they were simply gone although they were powerful enough to block two of the attacks in the end they were quickly used up as i am a talisman cultivator you don't need to worry about that you should worry about yourself sneered Zaya chen suddenly he spread his hands and crossed them in front of his chest eight talismans appeared between his fingers eight ghost devil exorcism those eight talismans exploded at the same time and a translucent life form shot out of every single one of them they were like human skulls with long tails charging toward he changed with a peal of strange laughter that strange laughter gave everyone chills that was like the sound of devils demanding lives it instinctively terrified people most terrifying of all was that this sound directly pierced their souls there was no defending it everyone's expression changed a soul energy attack a startled cry rang out this was a specific kind of energy soul energy a mix between spiritual strength and mental energy others couldn't defend against it you dare to bring out such an insignificant trick he changchen sneered in the face of those eight bizarre life forms the heavenly ruler seal wild lion then roared within his manifestation after that a ring of fire spread out of his manifestation instantly devouring those eight life forms when the ring of fire touched those life forms those life forms instantly exploded however just as they exploded he changchen coughed up blood the space between his eyebrows split apart and blood poured out of it it was as if something had exploded in his head almost blowing it up when those life forms exploded countless experts screamed and clutched their heads in pain a ghost thou art detonating the soul shocked cries rang out legend had it that only the ghost dao had the ability to affect a person's soul without a god or ghost being the wiser the ghost dao was capable of taking control of people without them being aware of it this situation was a bit similar to a so-called being possessed by a ghost in the mortal world even in the immortal world the ghost dao was unfathomable it was full of unknowns that terrified people the reason why people were able to link this technique to the ghost dao was because of what Zaya chen had just shouted eight ghosts devil exorcism on top of that 
Only the ghost Dao would have such a bizarrely terrifying attack method. This attack didn't just affect He Changshan. The experts with weaker spiritual strength also felt like their heads would split apart. It was like their souls were trying to escape the coils of their physical bodies. Even Long Chen jumped in shock. Was this a technique that Xia Chen had just developed? Or was it something that he had long since had up his sleeve but never exposed? All you know are sinister tricks. Despicable fellow, don't think these little tricks can harm me. He Changshan raised his head and roared. After that, a wave of flame energy exploded out of him, and the world became a sea of flames. He Changshan has activated his flame domain. Summoning this domain showed that he was truly going all out. It could not be dealt with easily. In this domain, He Changshan was the ruler. Oh, flame wings appeared on He Changshan's back. He then appeared in front of Xia Chen in an instant as if he had just teleported. His spear stabbed toward Xia Chen. However, what shocked everyone was that this incredibly fast spear missed. Frightened cries then came from the heavenly ruler Seal Empire's people. Xia Chen had appeared behind He Changshan at some point. When his spear missed, He Changshan also felt something wrong. He suddenly stepped back and swung his spear above his head, arching his back. His spear then shot toward Xia Chen in a shocking arc. The tip reached Xia Chen's face in an instant. This was not a profound technique, but his quick reaction, the angle of his attack, and his accurate judgment all showed that He Changshan had immense combat experience. Furthermore, he had unleashed such a strange attack easily and gracefully. He truly was an expert. However, his spear once more missed as Xia Chen's figure had vanished. All of a sudden, Xia Chen reappeared above He Changshan's head and stamped his foot down. Chapter 3711 Supreme Domain Everyone clearly saw that just before stamping his foot down, Xia Chen reached out and attached a talisman to the bottom of his shoe. Xia Chen's foot then stamped into He Changshan's chest. He was so fast that he didn't give He Changshan a chance to react. As for He Changshan, he was still in a defenseless posture after unleashing that back arching attack. That wasn't a position that was easy to move from, so Xia Chen's foot solidly smashed into his chest. Boom! It was like a volcano exploding. The talisman on the bottom of Xia Chen's foot exploded and Xia Chen himself was blown high into the sky from the explosion. As for He Changshan, his chest caved in and he smashed into the ground like a meteorite. A huge ripple then erupted. Above the ripple was Xia Chen flying back, and below the ripple was He Changshan falling. When the surrounding people saw that, their expressions changed. Some people decided to quickly retreat. As He Changshan smashed into the ground, Flames exploded in every direction. It was like a star exploding. The earth quivered. However, there was no giant hole that people had anticipated. There was simply a slight depression with raging flames. Fortunately, the surrounding people had retreated quickly, or they would have been caught up by those flames. This was the vile flame heaven capital. The earth had special laws protecting it, so the ground was far tougher. Even the ruins left behind from long ago were very difficult to damage. At this moment, He Changshan coughed up three mouthfuls of blood. The place where his chest had caved in slowly rose again, and he returned to his original appearance. The heavenly ruler seal battle armor's reputation is not for nothing. Even such a terrifying attack is unable to damage it in the slightest. People looked at the perfectly intact battle armor, as well as He Changshan, whose aura had not weakened in the slightest. They didn't know how powerful Xia Chen's attack was exactly, but based on the ear-splitting explosion and the ripple that appeared, it was clearly no ordinary attack. It had to be known that He Changshan had not had any defenses at the time. He had simply been struck just like that. Without this battle armor, he probably would have died. 
at the same time as people sighed over the heavenly ruler sealed battle armor's power they were also awestruck by the power of this talisman cultivator they had heard of talisman cultivators but had never seen one actually fight Zia Chen's talismans were terrifying now they knew why Zia Chen could look so harmless yet give off such an immense sense of pressure that pressure didn't come from him but from his talismans you damnable bastard you've really pissed me off an idiot that relies entirely on external power also dares to show off he changshin roared furiously the crown on his head had long since fallen and his hair was a mess his blood ignited into mist as soon as he spat it out following his roar that blood was like gunpowder that ignited the surrounding space instantly a majestic supreme aura unfurled he's igniting his supreme blood startled cries rang out what he changshin had just spat out was his core essence blood he was actually igniting that precious essence blood it had to be known that supreme blood was incomparably precious it could not be lost without consequences especially at this time when he changshin had to maintain his max essence blood in preparation for breaking through to the immortal king realm at this moment the void beneath Yi Changshan's feet exploded, and his battle armor blazed. Every scale had its own rune, but now those runes transformed into ancient beasts. It was as if they had come to life. As all their power was being offered up, Yi Changshan's power soared by several times. By sacrificing his essence blood to activate the heavenly ruler seal battle armor, he drew out its terrifying power. He now looked like a flame god and once more shot towards Zaya Chen. People could see that this battlefield had become He Changshan's domain. Endless flames whirled about, blocking Zaya Chen's retreat path. They even pushed him toward He Changshan. External power? What a huge joke! As long as it's a power that I control, it is my power. Your flame energy mostly comes from the heavenly Daos is that not external power if you want to fight then let's fight where did so many useless words come from Zaya chen sneered even in front of he changshin in this state he was unafraid Zaya chen was overflowing with battle intent it was like he had returned to the time on the martial heaven continent when he followed long chen in battles against all their enemies the stronger the opponents the more excited he grew let's see how you teleport around in my supreme domain shouted he changshin his spear suddenly dancing through the air spear images pierced toward Zaya chen he changshin's original flame domain wasn't strong enough to stop Zaya chen from using consecutive transportations throughout it however now he was burning his supreme blood and it caused his domain to be connected to the supreme blood in his body. If Zaya Chen used his transportation art again, He Changshan would instantly know his location and would be able to predict where Zaya Chen was going in advance. He had completely broken Zaya Chen's technique, forcing him into a direct clash. Your domain is far weaker than Lio Benking's faith domain if i want to use spatial transportation inside of it can you even stop me also did you think that talisman cultivators don't dare to face people in combat directly i'll show you a talisman cultivator's true power today sneered Zaya chen when Zaya chen mentioned lio benkeng countless experts were shocked the name of the nine underworld halls master was known to almost everyone had Zaya Chen previously fought Liao Benkeng? Dragon blood battle armor. Zaya Chen roared and a sacred dragon cry rang out, resounding throughout heaven and earth. After that, a layer of golden dragon scales appeared on Zaya Chen, and a holy dragon might radiate it from him. Boss, when did Zaya Chen? Guo Ran jumped in shock. Did you think that I would only favor you? Zaya Chen never abandoned the dragon blood body tempering art. I gave him the true dragon essence blood, and he gradually merged with it.
do you think every one is like you and would require such a fuss demanded long chen irritably although xia chen was a talisman cultivator focused on pursuing runic arts he had always kept up with the dragon blood body tempering art furthermore his dragon blood could be merged with his talismans before permeating into his body this was a very simple and painless method to train xia chen naturally wouldn't tell guo ran about this method because guo ran would feel that it was unfair thus guo ran hadn't known about xia chen merging with long chen's true dragon essence blood xia chen was covered in golden scales and his blood kai soared he seemed like an entirely different person now his powerful blood kai shook countless people's hearts this this is a talisman cultivator everyone was stunned how could a talisman cultivator possess such terrifying blood kai that toppled their understanding Ooh. just as everyone was stunned xia chan actually let out a simple punch at he changchen's mighty attack what chapter three thousand seven hundred twelve ten thousand flames burn the heavens xia chen's fist smashed into he changchen's spear tip as a result a giant spear of light erupted between them it was like two worlds colliding Boom. astral winds raged their spear and fist remained locked in the air neither moving even an inch both of their battle armors shone brightly as they tried to suppress the other but they remained deadlocked was neither able to defeat the other wow i didn't expect junior brother xia chen to be so powerful yin ting was delighted to see xia chen be so powerful he actually blocked that spear barehanded all the vermilion bird empire's experts were delighted to see this they clenched their fists as if that could help xia chen fight boss when did xia chen get so strong Huo Ran was dumbfounded. This was too strong, was it? It was only because Guo Ran had a supreme bone that he dared to receive divine weapons with his bare hand. But Xia Chen didn't have one, so how could he do this? Xia Chen was originally very strong. It's simply that he was restricted by Liao Benking's faith domain on the Nine Underworld Island, so he never had a chance to display his power. Furthermore, he's smart. Look more closely. Every single one of his dragon scales has a tiny talisman embedded within it. 108,000 scales, 108,000 talismans. For him to activate so many talismans at once, tell me how could he not be strong? asked Long Chen. With Long Chen's reminder, Guo Ran looked more closely. He saw the tiny talismans now but they were so small that they couldn't be seen without looking very closely. I knew it. This fellow's dragon blood battle armor is almost as strong as yours. So it's because of the support of so many talismans. Yuo Ran nodded. If it was like this, he didn't feel it to be too shocking. In fact, he felt it to be simply natural. Xia Chen's talismans were all amazing. A single talisman had shocking power. If there were so many talismans together, then it was only natural for them to be so powerful. Boom! Suddenly, the light between the two of them exploded. Both of them were blown back as the two of them ended up even. You only rely on talismans. Do you think that relying on those external powers is enough to survive? He changed sneered and once more shot toward Xia Chen. Just talismans? You really are foolish. If it weren't for your heavenly ruler seal battle armor, if it weren't for the talismans on it, you would already be a corpse. You dare to say such big words? retorted Xia Chen. He changed kept accusing him of using external powers, while forgetting that the majority of his combat power stemmed from his battle armor. He Changchen was enraged, but had no way of arguing. His mocking now became a slap to his own face. At this moment, He Changchen's spear quivered and ten thousand spear images shot out. He was expelling all of his anger. With the protection of the dragon blood battle armor, completely barehanded, 
Zaya Chen swung his fists and dragon cry rang out. Without retreating, he received He Chengchen's attacks just like that. As a result, rubble flew through the air and flames devoured the sky. The spectators were all amazed. A battle on this level was truly rarely seen. What is going on? Talisman cultivators actually fight in close range. Brothers, I'm also a talisman cultivator. Why did my master never tell me about this? shouted someone in the crowd. Most importantly, he's in close range combat against someone possessing supreme blood. Is he challenging our understanding of the world? shouted someone else. Talisman cultivators, spirit cultivators, soul cultivators, magic cultivators, and others had weak physical bodies. This was simply common knowledge. However, Zaya Chan was toppling that common knowledge. If they didn't personally see it, they wouldn't believe it. Zaya Chen and He Changshin continued to fight. Zaya Chen's fists danced against the flying spear. Both of them were fighting intensely. Long Chen smiled as he watched Zaya Chen fight. This fighting style was very similar to his own. Zaya Chen was clearly imitating Long Chen's close range fighting style. However, Zaya Chen's power stemmed mostly from the talismans on his dragon armor. His dragon blood was only the vector carrying the power of his talismans. After all, he wasn't really a close range fighter. There was some loss in the power transfer, and that was difficult to avoid. Despite that, it was more than enough to fight He Changshin. After all, Long Chen had never lost to anyone in close range combat. For Zaya Chen to be able to learn this much was enough. However, at this time, Zaya Chen's talismans began to flicker badly. Yuo Ran also noticed this problem. Boss, it seems that if this continues, Zaya Chen won't be able to last much longer. Long Chen nodded. Zaya Chen's talismans are still affected in He Changchen's domain. His talismans should normally be able to absorb the energy of heaven and earth as an unending supply of energy. With this number of talismans together, it's practically equivalent to a sect's grand formation. But it's only been an instant's stick's worth of time before they start flashing. That's a warning that the amount of energy that they are absorbing is unable to keep up with their energy usage. But don't worry, Zaya Chen is currently borrowing He Changchen's power to test his talisman's power and endurance. He hasn't used his true trump cards. He he, the real thing has yet to appear. As expected, as they continued to fight at this intensity, Zaya Chen began to show signs of weakening. He was gradually forced back by He Changchen. Although it wasn't to the point of being defeated, he was clearly the one being pressed. As I said, relying on external power means nothing. If you have no power yourself, all that awaits you is death, shouted He Changchen. Seeing Xia Chen weakening, He Changchen's blood kai circulated rapidly, and his aura strengthened once more. Heavens! He Changshin still wasn't using his full power. He was waiting for this. He wants to decide life and death in the next few moves. He's not giving Long Chen a chance to save him. People could tell that He Changshin was hell bent on killing Xia Chen and was waiting for this chance to suddenly overwhelm him. People glanced at Long Chen, looking for his reaction. But unexpectedly, there was no reaction at all from Long Chen. He was still calmly watching. Heavenly Ruler Seal Revival, 10,000 beasts appear, wild lion awakening, devour the nine heavens. He Changshin swept out his spear and formed seals with his other hand. As his entire body began to burn, tens of thousands of rays of divine light shot out of his armor. Every light contained its own flaming beast. Tens of thousands of beasts appeared at once, instantly locking down this entire space. Just like that, all the beasts that had been sealed in the heavenly ruler seal battle armor were awakened at once, and their sharp killing intent instantly locked onto Zaya Chen. Furthermore, the heavenly ruler, 
seal wild lion within he changes manifestation actually stuck half its head out of the manifestation it roared and the tens of thousands of beasts opened their mouths flames then shot out like furious arrows toward Zaya chen Dai. ten thousand flames burn the heavens he changed roared those flames all converged on Zaya chen who was instantly devoured by a domain of death with nowhere to run chapter three thousand seven hundred thirteen who is courting death this sudden attack made every one jump it seemed that he chanction had been holding back this entire time just to have the opportunity to kill zaya chen in one move Boom. over ten thousand flames crashed down upon zaya chen from all directions when the void exploded zaya chen was devoured by flames everyone was shocked to see this zaya chen had no chance to get out of the way this attack had definitely crushed him when zaya chen's figure vanished amidst the raging flames the heavenly ruler seal empire's people cheered did he die the spectators were stunned although this attack was well planned they still felt that there was something off but they couldn't say what was off about it death substitution talisman watch out behind you a warning rang out following that people looked behind he chanction just in time to see zaya chen's figure appear out of the void he silently struck he chanction's back with his palm within his hand was a heaven-shaking talisman with this warning he chanction hastily turned back there was no time to block with his spear zaya chen's palm was right in front of him so he instinctively extended his left hand to block Boot. He Changchen's left arm was blown apart. The immense force of Zaya Chen's attack almost blew his head apart as well. Seeing Zaya Chen just barely fail to kill him due to that person's warning, Yu Ran furiously cursed. What rat bastard is such a busybody? Everyone already agreed that it was a fair one against one fight. We're cheating. Everyone looked in the direction of that voice and saw a violet-robed elder standing in the distant sky. It's a divine venerate, the heavenly ruler seal empire's southern wall king. He actually came. Some people recognized this elder. He was clearly a famous existence. He Changchun was shocked and enraged. He barely escaped death just now. Zaya Chen's attack was truly vicious, striking right after the heavenly ruler sealed battle armor's power had been unleashed and had yet to gather once more. It was when its defenses were at its weakest. Without that warning, he definitely would have died. Battle souls return. He Changchun didn't tarry. The scattered flames and runes within the world shook and rushed back toward He Changchun, wanting to return to his battle armor. You think you can pull them back now? Keep dreaming. Zaya Chen laughed and suddenly formed hand seals. Hundreds of talismans then appeared behind him. Heavenly water prison. After that, those hundreds of talismans exploded and giant water dragons came flying out. Every water dragon gave off immense pressure and crashed toward He Changchun like lightning. Water Kai filled the air forming a special water barrier that separated all the flame runes from He Changchun. Hundreds of water dragons in this barrier began to spin in opposite directions, compressing space. Heaven and earth rumbled. Just like that, the space within this water sphere fractured. Even the laws of the heavenly Daos were being torn apart by it. He Changchun was shot. This water barrier was separating him from the outer world's flame runes. Those flame runes simply bounced off this water barrier, unable to barge in. If he couldn't recall those flame runes to his battle armor, his battle armor's power would diminish by quite a bit. Most importantly, if those runes completely ran out of energy, then the heavenly ruler seal battle armor would be ruined. He Changchun roared flame runes then condensed into a new arm for him wielding his spear with both hands he stabbed it into the water dragon barrier Boom. 
he was actually knocked back by the barrier. In that one blow, he was shocked to find that a great deal of his flame energy simply evaporated. Only now did he realize that the water that Xia Chen had summoned was no ordinary water. It had a suppressive effect against his flames. Just then, something that he couldn't bear to see occurred. He didn't know what Xia Chen did, but a flame dragon somehow appeared outside the barrier and began devouring the flame runes that were stuck outside. With every rune that the flame dragon outside devoured, a scale on his armor shattered. In just the blink of an eye, dozens of his scales were destroyed. That flame dragon was not summoned by Xia Chen. It was Huo Linger who couldn't contain her gree. She didn't want these runes to end up using all their energy and be wasted, so she came out to devour them. Courting death, a cold shout rang out. That violet-robed elder in the distance finally couldn't hold back any longer and directly charged into the battlefield, reaching out toward Huo Linger. He had no choice but to interfere now. If Huo Linger continued to devour them, the heavenly ruler's seal battle armor would be ruined beyond repair. An uproar exploded amongst the crowd. Was the heavenly ruler's seal empire really going back on their own word? They had agreed on a one-against-one fight. However, that previous warning was already an infraction. Now that he was directly interfering, was he not afraid of the whole world laughing at them? Are you talking about yourself? Just as the violet-robed elder shot out, a voice filled with unquestionable dignity rang out. Another figure appeared. He wore no crown and no imperial robes. But when he appeared, his ruler Kai radiated and a natural, noble air spread, one that could make the entire world submit. Xia Yuhong showed up, blocking the violet-robed elder. The violet-robed elder then slammed his palm forward without hesitation when he saw someone block his way. Zayed Yuhong only extended a single finger. The wind from this finger tore a hole through that elder's palm and continued to pierce through his shoulder. As a result, blood rained down. The rain of blood fell, and people saw the drops of blood turn into runes that slowly vanished. The blood of this expert was actually reabsorbed by the heavenly Dows. What? Countless people were shocked. They stared in shock and amazement at this new expert that radiated ruler Kai. Zai Guhong's name was known to everyone in the senior generation, but many of the junior generation didn't know him. Even if people knew of him, they had never seen him, so they didn't recognize him. Amongst the ones who didn't recognize Xia Yuhong was this violet-robed elder. This elder was enraged at being injured. He shouted, Who are you? You don't even recognize the famous monarch of the Grand Xia Nation, Xia Yuhong. You really are a worthless character. A person can be lacking knowledge, but not common sense. Do you think that there is a second person in this world that can produce such a noble aura? When Xia Guhong participated in the Immortal World's Wars, your grandfather had yet to be even born. Youngsters should know respect. A mocking voice rang out. Unexpectedly, the one to mock this violet-robed elder was the Bloodkill Hall's master, in Cuda. Furthermore, when in Puda reported Xia Guhong's name, countless people were shaken. They were bearing witness to a legendary figure, Seventh uncle, save me. Just as Zayek Yuan was shaking everyone, he Chengshin's terrified cry rang out. Chapter 3714 Price Zayek Yuan's arrival drew everyone's attention, causing people to forget about He Chengshin for a moment. But when He Chengshin screamed, people saw that his battle armor had lost its original light. Its scales were destroyed and it was riddled with holes on the verge of complete collapse. Moreover, the flame runes in the air had been devoured by Huo Linger. She had long since returned to the primal chaos space to digest them. At this time, He Changchun was trapped within the water barrier. 
the water dragons in the barrier were constantly mixing up space suppressing his flame energy having lost the heavenly ruler sealed battle armor he had no choice but to ignite his supreme blood just to resist it however Zaya chen's talismans used nine heaven spirit water which was exceptionally precious and had an astonishing suppressive effect on flames although it wouldn't be able to affect the flames in the top ten of the heavenly flame ranking Zaya chen had activated hundreds of these talismans which was more than enough to suppress he changshan the water dragons roared compressing the prison on the other hand he changshan was doing his best to resist flames circulated around him but space was still being compressed originally he changshan was able to maintain a space of several miles but now he was reduced to a space of merely a few dozen meters that space was continuing to shrink the more it shrank the greater the pressure grew and cracks were appearing in the space around him his entire body was about to be crushed although his voice did ring out it sounded as if it came from an extremely distant world it was very muffled the violet robed elder's expression changed he hadn't expected Zaya chen to be so powerful he had pushed he changed into a life and death juncture so quickly Zaya Yuhong, you're a senior please forgive this junior for my previous offenses but my heavenly ruler seal empire has no enmity or grievance with you why must you bully the weak like this i hope senior can give me a bit of face this southern wall king of the heavenly ruler seal empire he hongjang will definitely remember this favor the violet robed elder he hongjang began to panic he directly brought out the name of the heavenly ruler seal empire and revealed his own status however this person seemed overly arrogant or simply lacked emotional intelligence he was clearly begging for mercy but his tone was still tough there was even a threatening note to it there's no need for a favor i came to stand up for my brothers so i'm not interested in favors Tsai Gyu hong shook his head your brothers he hong jang's heart pounded wildly the three of us are protected by big brother Zaya. What? You don't like it? Kyuo Ran looked down on him arrogantly. With Zaya Guang's protection here, he felt like he had gained face. What do you want? You wish to be enemies with my heavenly ruler seal empire? shouted He Hongang, his expression sinking. Zaya Guang frowned. This He Hongjing was an idiot. At this time, he actually brought out the heavenly ruler seal empire as a threat i say does your heavenly ruler seal empire have any face at all it was already agreed that this was a life and death battle a one against one match now that you've lost you want to go back on your word in front of all the heroes of the land do you really think you can eat the crap that you shat out sneered long chen answering in place of zai guhong nonsense youngsters are all temperamental how can you simply take their word it naturally doesn't count shouted he haunting angrily he then turned to you king shuin princess king shuin you are the princess of the vermilion bird empire do you wish to cause a war between our two empires shall the blood of our empires fill the battlefield you king shuin was immediately put in a difficult position before she could reply, Long Chen pointed at He Hongjian and cursed, You old bastard, you dare to play this game with me? Then let's play. I am telling you that the reason I want to kill He Changshan is simply because I find him displeasing to the eye. This matter has nothing to do with the Vermilion Bird Empire. You dare to threaten me? I really admire your guts. I'll state it plainly right now if I want He Changshan dead today, then no one in this world can save him. Long Chen was enraged. Before this, although He Changshan had drawn his ire, it wasn't to the point of enraging him. However, He Hongjing actually threatened Yu King Shuin, making Long Chen's fury soar. If he hadn't promised to leave He Changshan to Zaya Chen, he'd crush him right now. 
Seeing Long Chen's fury, Yu Kingchuan was moved. Long Chen was extremely protective of her. Ignorant junior, you'll pay the price for your foolishness, roared He Hanjing, his face twisting. Killing intent filled his eyes. The price. Do you know what the price is? Xia Chen, teach them what the price is, shouted Long Chen. All right. Xia Chen smiled. A talisman appeared between two of his fingers, and he cast it through the air. The talisman instantly vanished. Within the water barrier, he Changshan screamed. His leg was ripped off from the knee by some mysterious force. Hearing that scream and seeing that strange scene, everyone felt a chill. Xia Chen's technique was absolutely bizarre. No one even saw how the talisman flew out, so they had no idea how it had broken his leg. They were unable to tell what happened, but He Changshan was already severely wounded. This bizarre move terrified people. The most terrifying things in this world were those that people couldn't see. Little brute! He Hanjing roared furiously. His aura erupted. Xia Chen then threw out another talisman. This time, people saw a streak of light enter the water barrier. However, it vanished on contact with the water barrier, and then He Changchun's other leg was severed by something sharp. This strange sight caused countless jaws to drop. They hadn't seen it clearly the first time, because they hadn't expected it. But the second time, they were completely focused and still didn't see how He Changchun's leg was severed. Old fellow, keep cursing, Xia Chen sneered. When he showed his hands, dozens of talismans appeared on them. If those all had the same effect, then He Changchun would be torn to pieces. At this moment, people realized that the fight was over. If Xia Chen wanted to take his life, he could take it effortlessly. He Changchun was defeated. He Hongden was enraged. Suddenly, his sword came out of his sheath. The moment he pulled it out, the aura of a divine venerate radiated. The winds and clouds raged. The world changed color. A layer of haze then shrouded this land along with a murderous aura. A divine venerate is really going to fight. Terrified cries rang out. If a divine venerate were to fight for real here, then this world would be destroyed. They wouldn't even have time to run away. If you dare to attack, I guarantee that it will be your last time. Xia Gyu Hong had his hands clasped behind his back. He eyed He Hongang, who had taken out his weapon indifferently. His calm demeanor possessed unquestionable domineeriness. Xia Guang, it's been many years, but you are still as arrogant as ever. However, the Grand Xia Dragon Sparrow has vanished. I don't know where your confidence comes from. Just then, thunder rumbled and lightning flashed. Black clouds filled the sky. A man wreathed in lightning descended from amongst those black clouds. Chapter 3715 Violet Thunderclap Empires Wang Tebei, as soon as that person appeared, the world changed color, the nine heavens quivered, and endless thunder roared. It was as if heavenly tribulation had descended. When this person showed up, everyone felt like a giant boulder was crushing them. Even breathing became difficult. Even divine venerates felt their hearts shaking. Despite this figure also being a divine venerate just like He Hanjang, the pressure that he gave off was on another level. It was like a single thought from him could destroy the entire world. As for the heavenly geniuses present, they were quivering from the pressure. This was their first time seeing such a terrifying figure in their lifetime. This middle-aged man was built like an iron tower. He had shoulder-length hair and his face looked as if it had been carved by a knife. Lightning runes flickered within his eyes, which were as sharp as a blade. They made others not dare to look at him directly. The Violet Thunderclap Empire's 17th generation monarch, Wang Tebei. He's still alive. A fellow divine venerate recognized this lightning-wreathed expert. Rumor is that before the Grand Zaya disbanded, those two empires were at odds. 
There were even several wars fought between them, but every time it was the Violet Thunderclap Empire that lost. Back then, Zayed Yuhong and Wang Tebe were young heroes rising up, the strongest heavenly geniuses of their empires. Hence, they were fated to be mortal enemies. Wang Tebe possesses an innate heavenly lightning body, and his blood has lightning runes flowing within it. It can even be said that he isn't human, but a humanoid life form made of lightning. With his talent, Wang Tebe swept through every one he encountered. His only two defeats were to Zayed Yuhong. The second time, Zayed Yuhong pursued him through half of the violet flame heaven, almost slaying him. One battle was in the immortal king realm, one was in the world king realm. Later on, Wang Tebe became the divine venerate. It was said that his supreme blood had been cultivated to the point of becoming one with the heavens. After that, he was preparing to wipe away all his disgrace from his losses against Zayed Yuhong. Regretfully, Zayed Yuhong lost his lover and was completely disheartened. He even disbanded the Grand Zaya and vanished afterward, so the anticipated third battle between them never occurred. Now that Zaya Yuong and Wang Tebe have appeared once more, that third battle might just occur after all, said a divine venerate. That doesn't sound likely. No matter how great their enmity is, they won't fight all out here. After all, too many people are here, and the three thousand worlds are about to open. If they were to fight, they would become enemies with everyone here, said someone else, shaking his head. If divine venerates fought, that terrifying pressure would be enough to destroy the entire violet flame heaven capital. Furthermore, one of the entrances to the three thousand worlds was located here. If they were to destroy this entrance, then even as divine venerates, they would be inflicted with a terrifying karma. Wang Tebe's aura alone shook the nine heavens. He was like a lightning god descending from the heavens. As for Long Chen, when he looked at Wang Tebe, he was shaken. Even Lei Linger couldn't sit still and almost flew out of the primal chaos space. Long Chen had Lei Linger calmed down. This was a divine venerate, someone from the same generation as Zayed Yu Wang. He still didn't dare to set his sights on someone like this. However, this person's violent lightning spirit energy made his heart itchy. It was his first time seeing such a terrifying lightning cultivator. Seeing him, Long Chen's first thought was that if Lei Linger devoured him, just what realm would she instantly rise to? But this thought had to be put aside for now. Long Chen knew his own power. He was still too small in front of divine venerates. When Wang Tebe appeared, the heavenly ruler seal empires, he Han Jane looked as if he had seen his saving star. He cupped his fists toward him. Senior, please save Changshan. At this time, Yu Qingxuan whispered into Long Chen's ear, it seems that the reason the heavenly ruler seal empire is targeting the vermilion bird empire is because of the support of the violet thunderclap empire. Yu Qingxuan had just arrived in the vermilion bird empire and was unaware of many aspects of the empire. However, based on what she was seeing, even she could understand something. The Vermilion Bird Empire had always been enemies with the Violet Thunderclap Empire throughout all of history. Their relationship had never been good. Also, He Hong Zhang's current expression showed everything. The reason why the Heavenly Ruler Seal Empire dared to challenge the Vermilion Bird Empire was due to the Violet Thunderclap Empire inciting things. To put it frankly, the heavenly ruler seal empire is a pack of idiot dogs. Back then, they were afraid of the vermilion bird empire and wagged their tails pitifully, listening to their orders. Now they have someone else supporting them and start to bite. Long Chen shook his head. He had seen such a thing often. Just as Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan were whispering, Wang Tebe said, Zayeg Yu Hong, the two of us will have a fight sooner or later. However, now still isn't the time. You're also someone with status. 
Don't interfere in matters between juniors. Are your eyes on your butt? Which of your eyes saw my big brother interfere in matters between juniors? It was clearly the heavenly ruler Seal Empire's people that went back on their word. After beating the junior, the senior comes out. My big brother is only beating that shameless old fellow. How does that count as interfering in matters between juniors? Even before Long Chen could reply, Yuo Ran was arrogantly pointing and cursing at Wang Taibei. He knew that with Zayed Yuhong's support, there was nothing for him to fear. If he didn't show off a bit now, he wouldn't beat Yuo Ran. Yuo Ran's pointing and cursing at Wang Taibei stunned the crowd. This fellow's guts were too big, weren't they? Did he not know that if Wang Taibei was enraged and wanted to kill him, he would be crushed like an ant? However, Guo Ran didn't care. Today, he had no chance to fight, so he had to find some other way to show off. Furthermore, this also saved Zia Guang from having to waste words on this fellow. Brett, you are courting death. Before Wing Tebe even replied, someone shouted from behind him. Only now did people notice that Wing Tebe had over ten people behind him. All of them were wrapped in lightning, like humanoid lightning standing within the sea of lightning behind Wang Tebe. Before one of them spoke, no one even noticed their existence. These people were all lightning cultivators with shocking auras. But the most shocking thing of all was that four of them were emitting supreme auras. They actually had four supreme experts. Even those that didn't have supreme auras had auras that were as heavy and solid as mountains. They were experts amongst experts, geniuses amongst geniuses. Those non-supreme experts gave off a pressure that was only slightly inferior to actual supreme experts. As for their leader, he was a man with shoulder-length hair and a sword on his back. A lightning halo could vaguely be seen behind his head. This person was a peak divine lord, but had condensed a heavenly Tao crown. His aura was exceptionally shocking. This person actually had violet hair, and looking closely, his violet hair had tiny marks within them with flickering light. Another heavenly lightning body? A divine venerate cried out in shock. This person actually possessed the same constitution as Wang Taibei. Then isn't another Wang Taibei about to be produced? People were shocked. If this man also grew up and became a divine venerate, then the violent thunderclap empire would truly climb to the peak of all empires. You are the one courting death. What? Do you want to fight? Come and report your name. I, Guo Ran, do not kill nameless people. Guo Ran pointed at the violet-haired man disdainfully. In truth, the moment Guo Ran spotted the violet-haired man, he felt a chill. He could sense that the latter was a terrifying opponent. However, with so many people watching, he refused to retreat and put on an arrogant appearance. Since you're courting death, I, Wang Tianyao, will fulfill your wish. That violet-haired man, Wang Tianyao, immediately agreed to Guo Ran's challenge. He walked out of the violet lightning sea behind Wang Taibei. Ah, uh, just then... A miserable scream rang out. Chapter 3716 Disadvantageous Praise Zaya Chen's water barrier had shrunk to just 30 meters. However, its power was rapidly diminishing. At the same time, within the barrier, He Changchun had reached his limit. His body was cracking, and he had used up all of his supreme blood. Following his scream, his physical body exploded. Changchun. He hung and cried out, and his face twisted. Zia Chen really had killed He Changchun. But then, He Changchun's flame spear pierced through the void, shooting straight toward He Hongjing. Boom! All of a sudden, a flame sword cut through the air, striking the spear. No! What shocked people was that He Changchun's unwilling roar came from within the spear. The moment the sword struck the spear, a translucent ripple spread. People saw He Changchun's Yuan spirit explode. 
apparently he changshin had given up on his physical body and placed his yuan spirit in his spear in a vain attempt to escape with his yuan spirit even zaya chen had been tricked that was because he changshin's spiritual fluctuations were covered up by the flame spear regretfully he changshin was unable to escape huo linger's senses long chen's sword had destroyed his yuan spirit the true fire sword then returned to long chen's hand and he returned it to the primal chaos space his expression calm he indifferently said we've already agreed to decide life and death with this battle you might not care about keeping your word but boss long san always keeps his word he changshin was dead and just like that a supreme expert was slain the three thousand worlds weren't even open and he was already dead this fact shook everyone supreme experts were rare a sect might not produce a single one in tens of thousands of years ants for one to be slain just like that was truly shocking long chen he Handang was quivering with fury his eyes were scarlet like a lion about to eat its prey you know i'm long chen good i killed he chengchen to tell everyone that i won't cause trouble but i'm not afraid of trouble i won't bully people but i will not allow others to bully me anyone who wants my life is my enemy and i long chen have only one rule for my enemies to kill declared long chen the final kill for some reason shook everyone's heart when this word came out of long chen's mouth although his tone was calm it made people see a blood-soaked battlefield good good long chen is it aren't you from the high firmament academy a declined academy also dares to be so arrogant here as you killed someone from my he family i will slay everyone from your academy and you you won't be leaving the three thousand worlds you'll be hunted down by the heavenly geniuses of the heavenly ruler seal empire as for your high firmament academy my heavenly ruler seal empire will wipe it off the mat your master your apprentice brothers and sisters everyone you care about we will kill them all roared he hongjang ah uh, he hongjang had just finished roaring when someone laughed as if they had just heard the world's funniest joke you are courting he hongjang turned furiously to the person laughing at him only to find that it was actually the blood kill halls in puda he was then startled he was unable to figure out why in puda who had no enmity or relationship with him would target him although the heavenly ruler seal empire was powerful they never dared to offend in puda the blood kill halls believers were spread throughout the nine heavens and ten lands and every single one of them was an expert assassin hence anyone who offended in puda would sooner or later find themselves the targeted endless assassins most importantly in puda himself was a terrifying assassin despite only being a peak world king once he used his faith energy even a divine venerate who encountered him would have to flee paul master in puda my heavenly ruler seal empire has no enmity with you what is the meaning of this demanded he hongjang although he was enraged he didn't dare to say anything too excessive his tone was clearly different from when he had been asking who was courting death everyone who wasn't a fool could tell that he hongjang was afraid of impuda impuda smiled and waved his hand at him i'm simply laughing it has nothing to do with our relationship i just couldn't help laughing at your joke destroy the high firmament academy ah ha ha that has to be the biggest joke that i've ever heard do you know the high firmament academy's dean by leshen's true cultivation base do you know who the master of the high firmament academy's battle god palace is do you know the origin of their ancient high firmament divine sword do you know that the high firmament academy has another living fossil in their ranks that has lived through time immemorial in Puda's words rang throughout heaven and earth causing shock to appear on people's faces clearly 
they hadn't known the high firmament academy's true power as for long chen he narrowed his eyes at impuda he refused to believe that this crafty fatty would say anything for him out of kindness impuda continued the high firmament academy is the number one academy of the nine heavens and ten lands its history is ancient and its foundation is thick it's not an existence that you can even imagine as for long chen he is the high firmament academy's youngest branch dean in all of history he is also the future head dean an academy with millions and millions of years of history chose him as a successor do you think that he is an existence that you can provoke when long chen joined the high firmament academy he joined as a worker but in less than a year he swept through everyone in the same generation and finding no one who could match him in the dark light heaven he came to the violet flame heaven as soon as he arrived in the violet flame heaven he repeatedly plundered the soaring dragon company's strongholds slaughtered formidable experts within the heavenly flame world and even personally killed the son of the flame sovereign yan zhu did you not hear about any of this long chen's group of three even slaughtered their way to the nine underworld island you damn fatty shut your mouth what do you think you're saying lio benking cursed in Puda as soon as he mentioned the nine underworld island in Puda ignored him continuing the three of them joined forces and wiped out the millions and millions of experts on the nine underworld island in the end the nine underworld hall's master Lyo Benkang personally attacked them, mobilizing the faith energy that had been accumulating for tens of millions of years, and he was still unable to stop them from leaving. As for you, he Hanjang, you are nothing more than some nameless fellow. For you to dare to say that you would take Dean Long Chen's life and destroy the High Firmament Academy, do you not think that it is laughable? After Imputa was done, countless people stared at Long Chen in shock only now did they learn that long chen had such amazing accomplishments under his belt he actually had such an illustrious background Kyuo ran and zaya chen were also dumbfounded and Puda was praising them had the sun risen from the west today however they quickly noticed countless burning gazes amongst the crowd without exception those people were all supreme experts damn this fatty really is sinister he's making us the number one target of every one guo ran instantly understood supreme experts were all arrogant and conceited the stronger the opponent the more they wanted to fight them those with the greatest reputations in particular were their main targets and puda had praised long chen to the highest level as a result even Xia Chen and Guo Ran were being eyed by countless people. Once they entered the three thousand worlds, they would have to deal with endless challenges before even getting to do anything. Who cares about some dogshit academy or being the youngest? I have no match beneath the heavens. Comparing the dark light heaven to the violet flame heaven, you're nothing more than a frog at the bottom of a well long chen i challenge you to a life and death battle all heroes of the heavens will bear witness do you dare to accept wang tianya was the first to step forward and point his lightning sword at long chen arrogantly shouting at him from high above chapter three thousand seven hundred seventeen supreme heavenly dao fruit wang tianya stepped forward and pointed his sword at long chen arcs of lightning then flash on top of his sword in brilliant blinding light this was a lightning attribute divine weapon when this sword appeared lightning raged in the nine heavens the wild blade isn't that wang Tebe's personal divine weapon why is it in his hands what is going on a startled cry rang out the wild blade was a divine weapon that wang tebe had attained in an ancient secret realm during his youth it followed him through battle and gained its own reputation so it was a weapon that caused countless experts to quiver in fear it was a very famous world domain divine item furthermore 
lightning attribute divine weapons were very rarely seen, making it even more famous. Legend had it that Wang Tebe had used this wild blade to defeat all his opponents. Although he was defeated by Zai Guhong twice, he relied on this divine weapon to flee both times. It could be said that this divine weapon was equivalent to Wang Tebe's life. For this weapon to now appear in Wang Taniao's hands, it seemed that the relationship between the two of them was not ordinary. Although the two of them were surnamed Wang, having the same surname in the immortal world was nothing special. Even between father and son, their relationship might not be very close at all. After all, in the immortal world, experts had immense longevity and could produce many offspring in one life. Thus, many times it was master-disciple relationships that were closer than father and son. For Wang Tebe to pass down his personal divine weapon to Wang Tianiao, it seemed that he viewed him as the one to inherit his legacy. When Wang Tianiao took out his sword, lightning appeared all around him. A shocking aura then erupted along with a terrifying pressure. His battle intent locked onto Long Chen. Long Chen slowly smiled. He had long since known that this damn fatty would not be helping him. He was praising Long Chen to get him killed. His praise turned him into everyone's target. No cultivator liked to be beneath others, especially when it came to those within the same realm. They had to decide who was stronger. It was unknown just how many heavenly geniuses ended up dying just because of this. It was a very simple plan with an obvious purpose. However, it was very effective. Countless supreme experts were now eyeing Long Chen, itching to fight him. It could be said that Inputa had achieved his goal. In front of all their hostile gazes, Long Chen's own arrogance was stimulated. He coldly said, I like that weapon of yours. I'll take it from your corpse. This response caused a stir amongst those experts. This was an incredibly domineering response. Two experts were about to fight. Ha ha ha, big words. Since you dare to say such big words, why are you hiding in the back like a tortoise? Do you refuse to step out? Sneered Wang Tanyao. I just can't be bothered to waste the effort. Once I beat you, your old fellow will interfere. Then my big brother Gyu Hung will also interfere. But I don't want to make my big brother get involved in my matters. I feel like their own enmity should be settled by themselves, said Long Chen. You think you can definitely beat me? sneered Wang Taniel mockingly. Naturally, I will beat you. But killing you will be a bit difficult. After all, you have so many people, and we don't. There's also that sinister fatty and the mule-faced Lyo Benking. They'll definitely take advantage of a chaotic fight here. So, don't shout in the streets like some vixen. You're only exposing the limit of your intelligence. If you want to challenge me, I'll await you in the three thousand worlds. After saying that, Long Chen turned toward the others. I know that you've fallen for fatty and pewdice ploy. You want to trample my corpse for your own prestige. But that's fine. Cultivation is a path of no return. I don't mind others challenging me, as experts aren't made through restraint or reason. Anyone can use any reason or excuse to challenge me. In the same vein, I don't need any reason or excuse to kill you. Just like he Changchun, you can come at me arrogantly and then beg for mercy after being crushed, but it's meaningless. Everyone is an adult and responsible for their own actions. So go ahead and challenge me if you want. But after being defeated, don't bother kneeling and begging for mercy, because I won't have any mercy. Perhaps it was due to experiencing too much, but in Pewdie's current move felt like child's play. However, it was this child's play that actually drew a bunch of fools against Long Chen. During normal times, if they challenged him, people could fairly exchange pointers. It would mean nothing. But in the three thousand worlds, everyone's time was precious. 
there would also be countless dangers all round for them to challenge him at such a time that would be equal to trying to take his life thus as long as any one was so brainless as to challenge him he would definitely slaughter them based on his principles long chen would kindly give them a single warning in advance if they didn't listen they couldn't blame him in the end when he killed them his conscience wouldn't even twitch also the moment long chen killed he chanchen he made a shocking discovery a red fruit had condensed at the very top of the heavenly Tao tree the fruit contained flame runes and gave off terrifying fluctuations those were the fluctuations of a supreme expert long chen had killed the old devil racy supreme heavenly genius old devil chanai he had also killed the blood kill halls jai wine however neither had caused any reaction in the heavenly Tao tree long chen had assumed that the heavenly Tao tree's fruits were limited to primals however after killing he chanchen the heavenly Tao tree actually produced a strange fruit based on his experience this was probably a supreme fruit long chen then thought of old devil chanai and jai wang's deaths Ju Wying's supreme bone had been transferred to Ju Wuming somehow, it hadn't returned to heaven and earth. Thus, the heavenly Tao tree was unable to absorb its power. As for old devil Chanai, his supreme bone had been taken by Guo Ran. However, He Changchun was slain, and his supreme blood was scattered throughout heaven and earth before being absorbed by the heavenly Tao tree this condensed into a supreme heavenly Tao fruit and this discovery startled long chen at this moment he couldn't help forming a very moving thought and that was to slay even more supreme experts then wouldn't he have even more supreme heavenly Tao fruit however slaughtering people to plunder their wealth when they hadn't offended him would make long chen feel bad but thanks to this speech from impuda he became everyone's target while long chen was enraged he had his own evil thoughts since they wanted to die they shouldn't blame him if you don't dare to fight then just say it why waste so many words are you covering up your fear the high firmament academy's youngest dean is even worse than dogshit another supreme expert beside wang tanya sneered disdainfully he clearly thought that long chen was just making excuses long chen if you want to kill people just go ahead as long as i zayag yu hong am present no one will dare to interfere said zayag yu hong the moment zayag yu hong spoke countless people's hearts quivered chapter three thousand seven hundred eighteen targeted by everyone zayag yu hong's tone was calm but full of confidence and unquestionable domineeringness even in front of his old enemy wang Tebe, a divine venerate in the form of he hongjang as well as threats like liao benkang and in Kuda present sayid yu hong dared to make such a declaration countless people were shaken at the same time they also felt deep veneration sayid yu hong was a figure that had led an entire era a hero filled with a legendary flavor perhaps only such an expert would have this kind of confidence this was a true expert i know that my big brother has that ability said long chen however look at that damn fatty's gaze roving around he wants me to fight as a lesson to his disciples for them to study my weaknesses i'm not afraid of anyone in the same realm but if someone is trying to con me i'm not going to just foolishly jump in that would be falling for this fatty scheme it's not worth it i'll let him live a bit longer in any case i'm in no rush to obtain that sword perhaps amongst all these people the one that gave long chen the greatest sense of danger was in Puda. he was more dangerous than anyone here they had fought before in the dark light heaven at that time and Puda had been much more reserved and cautious than he was right now. The more Long Chen thought about it, the more he felt it to be off. This fellow was too sinister, so Long Chen had no choice but to be cautious. 
Since Long Chen said this, Xie Yu Hong nodded and didn't say anything further. Xie Yu Hong, I've searched for you for many years. So you were hiding in the Wine God Palace. Are you no longer planning on hiding now? Today, let's decide who is stronger right here and now. Let us settle all our grievances. Seeing Long Chen refuse to fight, Wang Tebe directly challenged Zayed Yu Hong with an electric gaze. Zayed Yu Hong indifferently said, I am now a disciple of the Wine God Palace. My old grievances have long since become smoke and clouds in my eyes. Ever since my wife left me, I've lost interest in this kind of battle. Everyone's heart was shaken when they looked at this peak hero possessing ruler Kai. They all sighed inside. Just what kind of hero was he? But he was unable to get past his love. After Luo Qingying died, Xia Yuhan's fighting heart also died with her. A generation's hero no longer had any interest in the world. Even in front of his old enemy, he was still calm. Many people wished to once more see Xia Yuhan's grand figure. What? An old hero actually uses a dead person as an excuse. Zayed Yuhong, you fallen. When Tebe still didn't give up after Zayed Yuhong rejected him. At this moment, countless people's expressions changed. Zayed Yuhong and Luo Qingying's story was a pure symbol, and Zayed Yuhong's undying love for Luo Qingying was something countless people felt admiration and longed for. Now, when Tebe was actually using Luo Qingying to antagonize him, that was absolutely despicable. You fucker, do you know how to speak? If you don't, then shut your butt and stop spouting all that crap, roared Guo Ran furiously, pointing at Wang Tebe. He looked to be on the verge of attacking him. In just this short time together, Xia Guang already treated both Guo Ran and Xia Chen like his little brothers. Hence, other than Long Chen, Zai Yuhong was the person whom Guo Ran revered the most. He refused to allow Wang Tebe to insult him like this. My cultivation base is low right now. If I had your cultivation base, I'd change my surname to yours if I couldn't crush you. Guo Ran clenched his teeth. It wasn't just Guo Ran and Long Chen's side that was enraged. There were countless experts who blared at Wang Tebe furiously now. Despite him being a powerful senior, his words were too sinister. They completely lacked the style of an expert. Kua ran, leave it be. What is the point of quibbling with someone who hasn't made the slightest improvement, even after living countless years? He can only spit at others to keep up appearances. Let's go drink. Zayed Yuang smiled slightly and patted Kua ran's shoulder, having him calm down. He also patted Long Chen and Xia Chen's shoulders because he saw that Long Chen's expression was a bit frightening. What kind of figure was Xia Yuhang? He instantly saw through Long Chen's intentions. He was going to agree to Wang Tanyao's challenge and kill him as a slap in Wang Tebi's face. However, when Xia Yuhang patted his shoulder, Long Chen restrained his anger. Xia Yuhang might have transcended such matters, but Long Chen hadn't. Perhaps Long Chen would never be able to reach Xia Guhong's height. Since Xia Guhong had said this, Long Chen could only put aside his anger. Inside, he cursed them and swore to kill them. King Xuan greets Senior. When Xia Guhong walked over, Yu King Xuan hastily bowed. What Senior? Call him Big Brother. Don't mix up the seniority, or you're going to have to call me senior too. For some reason, seeing Yu King Shuen's face caused most of Long Chen's fury to vanish. His mood instantly improved, and he smiled. Yes, you can call me big brother. Xia Gyu Hong also smiled. Yu King Shuen blushed slightly. Long Chen was doing this on purpose. This would make them appear even closer. Yu King Xuan then gave Long Chen a cute face before once more bowing to Xia Guhong. King Xuan greets big brother Guhong. Following that, 
the other disciples of the vermilion bird empire behind her also bowed they all had worshipful expressions this was a legendary existence how many experts in this world would have a chance to even see him after a few more courteous words they directly returned to the restaurant to drink as for wing tebe and the others they no longer said anything else they just watched as long chan and the others left this conflict ended with the heavenly ruler seal empire's prince being killed countless people had personally witnessed a supreme heavenly genius fall although the next battle between long chen and wing tianiao didn't occur people were still shaken long chen's life is mine i'll kill anyone who dares to interfere declared wing tianiao coldly as he watched long chen leave long chen had said such arrogant words but refused to fight him hence wang tianya was enraged and directly announced that long chen was his target what a joke i'm the one who's going to kill him if you don't like it i'll kill you too as a result of his declaration the nine underworld Yuacha was instantly provoked youngsters don't be too arrogant be careful of swallowing your tongue sneered long kenyon long chen is the most famous person from the dark light heaven he represents the dark light heaven's greatest heavenly genius whoever takes his head will instantly soar in fame do you think that people will let him off just because of you you're too naive if you want to kill long chen then you'll have to use your real skills jai wuming also spoke up however just like his master in puda he brought up all the benefits of killing long chen following the declarations from the end in the underworld yuacha long kinian and jai wuming the other supreme heavenly geniuses also added in their own words clearly dissatisfied with wang tianjiao's words aha what a joke if anyone disagrees with me then just come i'll send you to your death laughed wang tianjiao his lightning sword came out of its sheath once more and he pointed it at the crowd killing intent instantly appeared in the nine underworld Yuach's eyes just as she was about to step forward she was held back by lyo benking these tough words are meaningless at this time everyone can fight in the three thousand worlds following that all the heavenly geniuses snorted and began to scatter a satisfied smile slowly crept across in Puda's face chapter three thousand seven hundred nineteen xia chen's shortcomings xia chen when did you get so powerful that he changshan wasn't even a match for you how could you hide this from me you'd even made me worry about you within the restaurant guo ran cried out indignantly from start to end xia chen had been fighting in a graceful and suave manner before completely crushing he changshan it was overflowing with the style of an expert no you really do need to worry about me let's go xia chen rose where are we going asked kyo ran the five of them had just sat down and ordered more food they hadn't even had a chance to eat yet but the two of them were going now where do you think we're going we have to set up a stall in that battle I used up all the profit that we just made. If I don't make some more, what am I going to use in the three thousand worlds? said Saya Chen bitterly. That battle definitely was suave. But having used up so many talismans, it would be a lie to say that it didn't hurt. Talisman masters fought by burning money. Although Saya Chen had plenty of money by following Long Chen, giving him a thick foundation in order to be safe, he always had to keep a large stock of them the most frightening thing for a talisman master was running out of talismans thus every talisman master would make sure that they kept an ample stock of them although the food had just arrived xia chen was in no mood to eat he had to make up for his losses this time hence he only managed to say a few words with xia guang and the others before being in a rush to make more money why don't you set up the stall yourself 
I've pretty much sold everything that I have to sell. I need the rest of the things for my own research. Also, it's not like I can help you anyway. Yuo Ran didn't really want to move. You have to help me sell them. I'll inscribe more while you help me swindle people. No, not swindle. Just be a good seller. Don't I need a good businessman to sell my wares? said Xia Chen. Guo Ran wanted to keep arguing, but he was dragged away by Xia Chen. Xia Chen didn't give him a chance to be lazy. With the two of them leaving, it was just Long Chen, Yu Qingxuan, and Xia Yuhan at the table. Seeing Guo Ran's unwilling expression as he was dragged away, Yu Qingxuan laughed. At the same time, she felt moved. She could clearly feel the close bond between Long Chen's group of three. That was something that she had never had in this lifetime. She had never thought that people could have such a level of trust in each other. She had been in the Blazing Heaven Divine Sect ever since she was a child. Although her master was Dongfeng Zichu, she didn't spend a large amount of time with him. Normally, it was the servants in the Blazing Heaven Divine Sect that looked after her. Everyone respected her, but she had no companions, no childhood friends. The only thing she liked was cultivation and alchemy. Yu Kingshuan had previously not felt anything in particular about that kind of life. That was because that was simply her life. She had thought that this was what life should be. But when she grew up and began to experience more, she found that other people had friends. They had companions that played and braved danger together with them. It was at that time that she felt a certain emotion called loneliness. She tried to make friends, but her status and position made it so that she was far above others. Even if she tried lowering her attitude, the reverence that others had for her position created a wall between them and her. Some people also only came to her in pursuit of medicinal pills. She was the pill fairy. Any pill that she gave away was a life-changing treasure to others. Hence, Yu Qingchuan tried to sincerely help others, but she still wasn't able to feel any sincere friendship. No one viewed her as a friend. Thus, when she encountered Long Chen, his firm gaze moved her. In this lifetime, she finally experienced the taste of wholeheartedly trusting someone. Seeing them act without reservation between them, she felt moved. To be surrounded by a group of people that you could fully trust was a blessing that could not be described with words. Xia Chen truly is powerful. However, talisman cultivators are infamous for being money-burning existences. Long Chen, you have to be mentally prepared said Xia Yuhong with a smile. It will be fine. After all other than fighting and killing, I also have some occasional business, said Long Chen. Is your business plundering the Soaring Dragon Company? laughed Xia Yuhong. It can't count as plundering. At most, it can be considered robbing the rich to help the poor. In any case, they didn't earn their money cleanly. As long as they refuse to admit to that matter, I can keep plundering them with no qualms, said Long Chen very naturally as if this was simply right. Long Chen already explained what the Soaring Dragon Company had done to him. Yu Qingxuan despised the Soaring Dragon Company for using innocent people as sacrifices, so she felt no problem with Long Chen plundering the Soaring Dragon Company. Xia Chen and Guo Ran had just left when a ruckus came from below. The Vermilion Bird Empire's experts didn't feel right going up to the restaurant with them, yet they also didn't dare to go too far. Thus, they were just roving the area around the restaurant. When Xia Chen and Guo Ran came out, they asked the two of them what they were doing, hearing that they wanted to set up a stall for business. The Vermilion Bird Empire's people immediately volunteered to help them. Xia Chen quickly found a suitable spot. This was actually an occupied spot, but the person who had set up their stall here was selling items that were extremely specialized, and thus there weren't many buyers. Xia Chen then directly gave him three talismans to get this spot. 
Seeing the talismans, that person immediately gave up his stall, and Zaya Chen started inscribing talismans right in front of everyone, while Gyo Ran was in charge of selling. As for the Vermilion Bird Empire's disciples, they were drumming up business, calling out the bystanders. A crowd quickly formed. Zaya Chen's fame soared in this place. He had easily killed a supreme expert, He Changshan. Hence, countless people had witnessed just how powerful his talismans were. Seeing Zaya Chen creating and selling talismans right there and now, countless people came to buy them. However, Zaya Chen no longer had that many extra talismans to sell. After they were all gone, they could only wait for him to make more. A long line then formed. His business was doing excellent. Zaya Chen naturally wasn't inscribing any talismans that were too high level. Creating those talismans took too long. He only made the simpler ones at the moment, but these simple ones were also very useful. For example, spatial transportation talismans, appearance transforming talismans, body concealing talismans, aura suppressing talismans, body substitute talismans, etc. They weren't very powerful but could save their lives. For these talismans, Zaya Chen had arranged many inscription fluids. With his brush, he made one with a wave of his hand. After that, a sheet of paper that had looked completely ordinary instantly gave off lively fluctuations. Even personally seeing it, people had difficulty believing. While Zaya Chen made and sold the talismans, the buyers that had materials for talismans, formations, or other talismans had priority. That was what Zaya Chen was lacking. When it came to Immortal King crystals, he wasn't particularly interested. Zaya Chen had a thrumming business now, with countless people coming to buy from him. Fortunately, he had the help of the Vermilion Bird Empire's disciples, or if it was just Gua Ran alone, it would be completely chaotic. King Shu and why don't we set up a stall too? You refine pills in front of everyone, and I'll raise the price. We'll split the profit fifty-fifty. Seeing Yu Qingxuan smiling as she watched Zaya Chen and the others busy figures, Long Chen sensed that she was very interested. No, if Yu Nu Chuai learns of it, he'll prattle for a long time. He'll even report it to my imperial father and get me scolded. Yu Qingxuan shook her head somewhat helplessly. Suddenly, rumbling sounds rang out from the distance, and the originally clear and sunny sky became dark. Long Chen's heart shook. Raising his head, he saw Black Devil Kai covering up the sky. Now it'll be interesting. Another opponent has come. Chapter 3720 Old Enemies of the Devil World The Devil World's experts have come. As the black clouds covered the sky, startled cries rang out. Most of the experts then stared vigilantly at the oncoming darkness. Some of them even had expressions of terror. Devil Kai filled the air. Within it, they saw countless life forms with the devil world's aura. Their gazes were icy, overlooking the humans with cold sneers. The devil race. They had always been the enemy of the human race, and there was an irreconcilable enmity between the two races. The devil race viewed the human race as food, as nourishment. They even called them pills in human form. Countless wars had been fought between the two sides. After every battle, both sides took hideous losses. Afterward, both sides would slink away and lick their wounds. However, when they weren't in wars, there would often be some entanglements between them, especially in places where the devil world bordered the human world. There were even places where humans and devils lived together. There, they would carry out business between the two races. Sometimes, there would even be marriages between the two races, producing mixed-blooded descendants. However, the next war that erupted would result in those mixed-blooded descendants being hunted down by both the human race and the devil race. Neither side accepted their existence. They felt like the mixed-blooded people should have never appeared in this world. 
Then, after the war, the two sides would have a long period to recover and once more carry out business and once more intermarry. This was truly an inexplicable phenomenon, and yet neither the human race nor the devil race was able to stop it. Thus, during times of peace, although the human race and the devil race viewed each other as enemies, it wasn't to the point of immediately slaughtering the other side as soon as they met. However, although they wouldn't directly attack, everyone knew that if they had a chance, both sides would not hesitate to wipe out the other. Thus, when the devil race's experts descended, the humans instantly tensed. Some hot-blooded heavenly geniuses were already clenching their weapons, wishing to slaughter the devil race. That was every human's mission and an opportunity for glory. The black clouds and devil kai covered this land. It was a shocking scene. The number of life forms within the black clouds numbered in the hundreds of millions, and they coldly overlooked the human race. But they seemed to have no intention of fighting. There were countless terrifying auras amongst them. Other than the auras of divine venerates, people also sensed supreme auras. They had their own supreme heavenly geniuses. The devil race's experts whizzed over aggressively. But they weren't coming directly to where the human race had settled down. Instead, they went to a rather secluded place outside. Is this a show of might? Long Chen eyed the devil army with a mocking smile. The devil race came in such a grand manner, causing a huge commotion. Clearly, it was an announcement to the human race that the devil race had come. It was a warning. Once the devil army landed on the ground, the devil Kai slowly dissipated and the black clouds vanished. The world once more became bright, but now there were hundreds of millions of devil experts. Some of those devil experts were as large as mountains, while some were as small as babies. There were all kinds of strange forms. It was a large mix of races. Also, they had over a hundred divine venerates, and the half-step divine venerates numbered in the tens of thousands. The sight of so many experts was extremely shocking. Amongst the divine venerates, Four in particular had large blades on their backs. Their ferocious faces truly made them look like monsters. They had horns on their heads and fine fur on their bodies. Their auras were terrifying. Their gazes shot toward Long Chen's side when they appeared. Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan's hearts shook. It was like bloodthirsty beasts were staring at them. The old devil races monsters. They are looking at... Long Chen instantly recognized that the auras of those four monsters were a bit similar to Old Devil Tianai's aura. They had to have a certain connection with him. Being stared at by them, an intense sensation of danger welled up within Long Chen. Those four monsters were terrifying. Even just a gaze from such a distance made Long Chen feel extremely uneasy. Most shocking of all was that the focus of their gaze wasn't him. It was Zayek Yuhong. Big brother, do you know them? Asked Long Chen. Zayek Yuhong stared at those monsters. A cold light slowly appeared in his eyes, and he nodded. I know them. When I slaughtered my way into the devil world, it was them who drove me back in the end. Long Chen gasped. So these four monsters were from the same generation as Zayek Yuhong. They had even seriously wounded him. At that time, there were eight of them. I killed four before they managed to severely wound me. Perhaps this is the will of the heavens for us to once more meet. Zayig Yuhong eyed them with a trace of grief, but more so, killing intent. Long Chen knew that Zayig Yuhong was thinking of his past. Even after so many years, he was still full of hatred for the old devil race. Big brother... Let's attack them right now. You handle the old ones, and I'll handle the small ones, said Long Chen, eyeing the devil army. Yu Qingxuan jumped in shock. His guts were too big, weren't they? He wanted to attack the devil army with just him and Zayig Yuang. Was he serious? It had to be known that the devil army, by a conservative measurement, 
had thousands of supreme heavenly geniuses amongst them even more than the human race xie gu hong smiled and shook his head when i came out this time i promised the high priest not to release my anger due to my personal affairs i won't attack due to selfish reasons otherwise i won't be able to face him again my mission is just to protect you perhaps the arrival of these old opponents was entirely within the high priest's predictions this can be considered a test from me long chen could hear the reverence and worship that Zayed Yuhong had for the wine god palace's high priest. Hence, Long Chen regretted never having a chance to see him and couldn't help being curious. Just what kind of existence was the high priest to make a peak hero like Zayed Yuhong feel worship for him? The high priest was even able to draw in an expert from the winged devil race to the wine god palace. Long Chen could sense that every single person within the wine god palace was extraordinary however those people were all willing to live an ordinary life immersing themselves entirely in the wine dao without involving themselves in the outside world the wine god palace itself was an enigma and so was the high priest Zayeg yuhan ignored those four devil monsters as for the four of them after staring at Zayeg yuhong they began to talk amongst themselves. It was unknown what they were discussing. Boom! Suddenly, a heaven-shaking explosion blew apart the void, and a pair of heaven-covering wings appeared. Countless giant figures flew out from a spatial channel, 